Hi, folks, and welcome back to Disco Elysium. I hope Hello. I didn't jump scare anyone. <laughs> <laughs> wow, welcome back to Disco welcome Elysium. This back. is a long welcome back, too. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it was like the grossest yeah ever. It was a delight. It, there was power behind it. There's passion it behind very it. very applicable, too. Like, it was the right sound at the right moment. <laughs> What's up, nerds? How you guys doing? What's, What's up, gamers? gamers? Welcome back to Disco Elysium. We are here today to maybe do a rave. I don't know. I didn't rewatch oh the last God, episode. That's what we're doing. <laughs> this game, I love that this game is a little diary between the three of us because it happens so rarely, but it's like, ooh, look, new entry. Like, what right? the hell is going on with those fools? We get to do a nice little check in of like, what's going on in everyone's lives because the oh answer is God. a lot of things. Oh my God. <laughs> oh boy. You know when Disco's been gone? for weeks that like shit's been happening yeah right <laughs> you're right i mean there's you're even right. call outs to it in the in the chat what's been happening is everyone's been moving short moved yeah. last week allison moved two weeks ago and i'm moving next week so it's just been chaos oh, oh. my absolute chaos my friends we've been all over the place quite literally jake you have been all over the place <laughs> you have like, you know it's <laughs> It's, it's sp disco especially is so funny to me because I've been so on the move for so long. Like every episode, I filmed it in a different place in someone's like closet, <laughs> just like like excusing myself from whoever I'm staying with and walking to the closet and being like, "All right, let's play this game." <laughs> so I love so, just yeah. you balancing the mic on top of things. Like this is what's gonna happen. I don't have a room. <laughs> or it's me like laying on the floor and literally holding it up to my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the things you do for content I appreciate I it oh, and by gosh. content I mean our friendship <laughs> but you're all settled in now uh, yeah, I am. I'm in my room, which is a funny, strange thing to say. You because have for the a last space. Two, I know. And like for the last two years, my room has been like my childhood bedroom. And that's just been like a different meaning of the word my words, my room. Mm -hmm. So to be in here and like to have my whole setup, like I soundproof the walls. I got uh, art up. I built a bed frame yesterday. I yeah. feel very like nice. this is a space and I made it. And yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Adulthood. <laughs> yeah, I'm a I'm a boy doing <laughs> man things. <laughs> Remarkable. <laughs> um, and Allison, you're in a whole new space, which is like I don't know. I'm hearing Gina deal with it, but like filling that much space is a wild concept to me. <laughs> yeah, it's it, well, it's interesting because I think technically, 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 our space might be, is actually a little bit smaller square footage wise oh, than really? our, interesting. our old space. But yeah. it's like a house, which but is it's cool. A house. It, yeah, we were in a house and we've got more like storage space. Uh, there's the kitchen is grand and big and perfect for mm. Victor to do his cooking magic mm -hmm, and. Mm -hmm. I, I have an office space set up now that I oh, yeah, love you do. and it's just great. I can stream and I can work and I can stand at my desk and I've never been so relieved in my life. <laughs> These are life's great pleasures here. And I also yeah. saw that Victor made apple butter out of the way too many apples that we yes. got the other day. <laughs> so like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have so much apple butter. We have still so many. We have. I don't know, several pounds of apples still from the Dang. 16 that we started with. Powerful. I want some apple butter. That we all went awesome. apple picking. It was really fun, actually. Oh, it was very nice. good. And I got yeah. two pumpkins as well from yeah. a pumpkin patch. <laughs> How are the pumpkin patches out there? Because I know the Midwest ones very well. But how, like, are the California ones really big? Are I they... would say um, picked. Like not overpicked, but like you're not getting the 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 big like the crazy big pumpkins. You're getting like a little, I like, like, you know, a armful. nice ornamental yeah. friend. <laughs> Aww, that's so fun. Yeah. It was just it was fun. It was a sweet little thing to do between all of the the chaos, the craziness. Yeah. yeah, but we're we're mostly all settled in now. It's a lovely home. I'm very very happy to be here and in an, a, a bona fide office space and studio space that's not my dining room table I and can't imagine <laughs> and, and uh yeah it's just it's really adorable and I'm happy to be in a house mm -hmm. uh, awesome. 
Very nice. Yeah, yeah. And then Gina is getting ready to to do that. I'm living as in well. denial. I watched all all of uh, Demon Slayer over the weekend for the first time to avoid thinking about the fact that I had to go do things. So <laughs> I, that, I can't tell you how much I know that. Feeling. Yeah, no, it's a bit because it's like. I, I'm living in this like this growing panic that I'm not going to be ready for the move when it hits um, because like things are going on in the new space. And so I, mm -hmm. I can't move anything over there and I don't know, but it doesn't matter. That's not, that's for tomorrow, Gina, to think about. Today, Gina <laughs> plays video games and watches anime and <laughs> that's all that yeah, matters. Yeah, she does. <laughs> and guess what? And guess what? Gina, three mm -hmm. days after tomorrow is that same Gina, yeah. just in a new place. Exactly. Maybe even two days after tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Take so, it one day um, at a time. <laughs> and I am excited because uh, our parents are going to be coming out um, to help me yeah, with the move. So I'm just, I'm, I'm really grateful to, to them you. for that. They're mm -hmm. so pumped to see you. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, for what I'm really worth? thrilled for you, Gina, <laughs> and excited for the, all of the new spaces. A, a new, new studio space again. <laughs> yeah, we're, well, we're going to have to rebuild it. I'm figuring that out. <laughs> It's going to be great. The, the space doesn't configure quite the way I want it to, but we're going to make it work. Yeah. We're going to do some magic. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I love the fact that these big life updates are buried in episode 15 of this. <laughs> 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 Like this, this is a big, this is a very big life update for us, but you're right. It is accompanied by Totally Hardcore the second time we're using that title. <laughs> hey, hey we used it once so on YouTube. <laughs> oh, not oh, on God. Twitch yet, so. <laughs> no, it cracks me up. What I will say is that uh, having watched all of uh, Demon Slayer, I have strong opinions about it that I think would piss everybody off. So do you, I you have crazy. strong opinions. I, I do. No way. I, let's see if I can make two different fandoms really mad at once. I think Demon Slayer is the divergent of Shonen Battle anime. I think it strips wow. the entire thing wow. down so much that it reveals <laughs> the inherent flaw of the system. <laughs> oh my god. Gina, you just said that on the internet. I did. <laughs> I think I think it's the divergence of the Shonen Battle anime and I stick by it. It's also great fun and it's very well animated. Um, yeah. But yeah, that, that, that's my, heart, my hot take for the day. Powerful. You're coming at like multiple groups yeah. at once. With I know. This. I'm implying a lot that two different groups aren't going to like. I, I <laughs> so wouldn't fear the divergent crowd. I got to no, be honest. I, think I feel like I think they, they all died out. out long yeah. ago. Yeah. I think they know. I read the first divergent book. I know. <laughs> I only, I've only seen the first movie, so I vaguely know. No, I, also, I haven't seen the movie. So. I wanted to shout out and say thank you for the uh, subs to Cool's Champion and Phoebe Thalise Feather. Thank you guys so much. That's yeah. very nice. I <laughs> really appreciate it. Thanks um, for sticking have, around, guys. Yeah. yeah. Not, have not played Metroid Dread yet, although we were just talking about it at work today. Um, have not. We, and by talking about it, everyone went, no, we haven't played it yet. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> so... <laughs> we'll get there. Uh, yo, I'd like to say I did play the Nickelodeon All-Star Battle yeah, game. Yeah, <laughs> and I heard you it's know. Melee. It's got wave dashing. Yeah, it's Super Smash Bros. Melee, but, like, not as good. But it's <laughs> but you can play as cat dog, so, like, go the fuck off. You know, you know like, what? You're right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not upset about it. I kick ass as Nigel Thornberry, and I'm very happy. It's, oh it's, it is Melee, but just simply not as good. <laughs> <laughs> but look, Melee's really, Melee's really good. So saying it is Melee, but not as good, means that it still does a good job. Yeah, no, and I've also heard it's pretty competitive, which is quite nice. Yeah. Fascinating. Um, Faluka, <laughs> apologies. I actually don't have any more thoughts on Arise than I did last time. <laughs> I've utterly failed at playing that game in that I've been playing The Great Ace Attorney 2 for what feels like five months now, and I don't know why it's taking me so long to get through it. And meanwhile, I keep buying other games and not playing them because I'm like, I'll play them after I finish Great Ace Attorney 2. And here we are still. <laughs> <laughs> It won't end. And I don't mean that it's too long and I don't mean that I'm having a bad time with it. It's just like really, really long. <laughs> it's wait, so it's like is it actually like this many, like many, many hours long? Yeah, it's really long. I mean like I, I've not been like playing it every night, but I have been 
playing it pretty consistently and I'm still not through it. It's really, wow. really long. <laughs> um, it's very, very good. Every single case is engaging. Um, I think it is a market improvement over the main series. Um, and I love the main series, oh, but wow. it's really, really clean. Um, mm. But because the whole story is in two games, they really needed to make them punch and they did. Um, but there's like wow. a case, the third case in the second game is like, it's it's like four cases worth. It's so long. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. god. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, that sounds stressful. <laughs> I was gonna ask if I should start playing Great Ace Attorney two or Arise. Which one? Gina? Oh, Great Ace Attorney. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And, and that's not like me bashing Arise. I just happen to think Great Ace Attorney is really good. Cool. Um, and that's... if you're smarter than I am, you'll take a break after the first game, and, <laughs> and then it won't feel like it's been going on forever. <laughs> <laughs> You'll oh God, treat them yeah, like separate games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but no, I, I, I'm really, really enjoying it. Please don't interpret this as me saying it's too long. It's just like, geez, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's long. <laughs> um, but it's great. Uh, taking on anything that long stresses me out right now. Yeah. And that's the problem. Because like, I've heard that. a lot of people recommending Eastward. And it looks gorgeous. Oh, it's I've like, seen it everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it's so it's so gorgeous. And I've heard the music and the story and everything's so good. But it's like 60 hours. And I'm like, I don't know. That's a lot of hours for me to play. <laughs> there, there was a time when I wouldn't have flinched. And now I flinch so hard. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm going to point a finger. I blame Persona, four, uh, Persona 5. Persona 5 no. burnt me really Persona hard. Persona 5. Oh, see, it, I agree, but Royal burned me. Yeah. I got back to Royal, and the last, like, I beat Royal, damn it. But the last whole <laughs> chunk of it, I was like, I am, I want to die. I and know, then Near Replicant the, did the same thing. Yeah, because <laughs> you got to the new stuff in Royal, and we're like, I cannot believe this. How could this game do this to me? <laughs> I, yeah, I got there and I'm like, we're almost done. And then I realized there was so much more and I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst feeling. I've actually had that feeling with um, a bunch of TV shows I've really watched, uh, uh, like really enjoyed lately. But when I realized there were like two more episodes instead of one, I was like, no, that was a, an error. Did you feel that same way about Squid Game? I did. did you I see think Squid Game. I yes. think both Squid Game and Midnight Mass, both of which are fantastic. Uh, I really needed to be just an a little too shorter. long. Yep. 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 I'm, I'm on the last episode of Squid Game. Haven't started Midnight Mass yet. And to be clear, yeah. I'm not saying it should have ended an episode earlier. I'm saying they should have removed an, an episode's worth of content from it. Yes. Um, same <laughs> yes, with Midnight yes, yes, Mass. Yes, yes. Both. It's like it's not that the endings are bad or anything like that. I just feel like you could have tightened it up a little bit and it would have totally. been better. <laughs> I could totally, feel that totally. with Squid Game. Yep. Yeah. Um, I mean, but, I, someone just said it. Cool's Champion just said it. But the sixth episode is freaking terrific and then it goes on for three more episodes and it's like oh mm -hmm. man we're still doing this i was really into this a moment ago yep and even <laughs> and, and midnight mass i think is only seven episodes but like who boy i the the it's you know it's bad when i click on the episode list in in netflix and i'm like oh no i needed there to not be that many more episodes left yeah um, and honestly, I, I think I do agree with Cool Streaming. I think episode seven could have been cut. Yeah. I, well, and I also think, especially if they're going to, you know, it, it, there's probably going to be more Squid Game than it really needed to be cut. Um, mm -hmm. But. Episode seven. Which one? Oh, gosh. It's, it's the. I, I don't want to spoil things, no, but it's yeah. like. It's, it's the one that really throws six. you out of it. Yeah. It, <laughs> it's immediately <laughs> after episode six. Anyway, um, to be clear. Super recommend. Uh, Squid Game is great if you like all the, the 999 and the Danganronpa content. It's uh, the same thing. It's the same dang thing. <laughs> it's uh, really good, though. And but it is the same. Midnight Mass is very good, but if you have any, if you get squeamish around like religious horror or religious iconography or religion at all, um, it's not a good pick for you. Uh, but it is good. I, I can recommend it. Yeah. Nice. Mm hmm. Well, wow, we can we also go. recommend was... <laughs> this game. Yeah, if you want to get wow. into this. Okay, do you want me to try to do a segue of all segues? <laughs> Thanks, I try. This is also content. Um, Paul Bart would approve of that segue. God, uh, <laughs> what happened last time? Do you want me to try? Please. Okay, go this for is going to be stream of consciousness. I have not revisited it. We're going to just see what I remember. Here we go. <laughs> all right. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Disco Elysium. Last time. We did a variety of things. Here they are in 
non-canonical order. One, we cleaned a jacket for a man, gave that jacket to the man, and he did not like the jacket anymore. Therefore, we now own this jacket. Two. <laughs> oh my God, that did happen. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we talked to Suna and after way, way, way too many times and threatening to some sca- uh, uh, save scum, we did finally listen to the silence. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I don't remember what the outcome of that was. Oh we did yeah, what happened? This. I don't remember. <laughs> We listened to the um, silence and passed the check, and then I don't <laughs> remember what the outcome is. Um, we're so bad. We had so many weeks to prepare for this. <laughs> yeah, but all the all I was that more excited was... to talk about what had been going on. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. What I was yeah. On. Um, um, crap! What happened? <laughs> get up. We got a house. We got a house. We have a house. We don't have to stay at the Whirling and Rags anymore. We have a house now. Great. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm, we mm-hmm. talked with the tutorial lady for a really long time because oh, we yeah. found her. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, Eric Chris was right. We need to get the speakers for the uh, the silence so we can actually listen yes, to the silence. That's, that's the output it. is that we realized that we that. couldn't <sighs> hear it because because of we didn't have speakers. Mm-hmm. So thank you, chat. Thank you. Um, and then, Sorry, did I throw you off there? No, th- th- <laughs> I, that was helpful. That's it. That's that's everything I remember. That's essentially, we talked. It. We, we also started to talk with uh, Joyce for a while because we were told to talk to somebody rich who would be able to tell us history. And yes. then we opened up a lot of dialogue options, but Kim told us not to listen all at once. Yeah, so we, we finally we finally got big lore dumps that mm-hmm. we had played all the way through this game without having. Yes. And then if I recall correctly, I guess we were coming back here. Um, we wandered around for a while looking for, I think the music for um, one of our boys, but then decided we probably weren't going to find it right now. Yeah. Oh, and the cryptozoologist. That's uh, what we, we were talk- looking for. Thank you. I was mm-hmm. like, why were we wandering around? That's what we were yeah, wandering around. We're for. looking for him. Uh, we talked to his wife in the whirling in rags for a while. Um, You'll have her back. I'm, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you all. You're amazing. Um, I guess it's okay. So we're here to talk about speakers or to drop off music. Um, I was going to talk about... We don't have music, so I was going to talk about speakers. Oh, okay. Right. okay that's fine. Yeah, Hi go again. for it. So uh, how are things going? Uh, I'm here to talk about the church mean? again. Yes? What's Good news. Deal? I managed to convince Suna she's okay with you guys moving in, but on one condition, she needs your speakers for her project. We are grateful, like that. Man. You're an augury of a new era of a Nordic dance music. The Speed Freak smiles happier than he's ever been before. You're going to have to share uh, space for a couple of weeks until she gets her research finished. That's fine. We can manage. He grins, excited. And what about the side business? Have you made up your mind? You mean the drug lab? Yeah, that's not going to happen. It's legal, you see. Um, side business, I don't know what you're talking about. I say we refuse. <laughs> yeah, let's. I don't think that's our path. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Allison? <laughs> Counterpoint, please. <laughs> you want to so, set up a drug lab? They need to fund their prod, their music, and their. <laughs> <laughs> they need some seed money. <laughs> okay. That that oh I'm being convinced, Allison. You know, you know. <laughs> I mean, on. God knows we can't be okay. their sponsor with our fourteen dollars. I mean, we yeah. have no money. That would what? give. That would be money. <laughs> what side business? I don't know what they're talking what about. Side business? Well, I'm, I have been outvoted, so it's fine. We have. Been, I don't know. Okay, on one hand, we've been pretty anti-drug this whole time. On the other hand, we did give all of our booze to I forgot his name, but it's very cool. Um, who gave us the jacket? Who who didn't want the jacket, but saying I us would sweet argue stories. That's true. Oh yeah, I would argue that we are anti uh, Kurt Disco pr- using drugs. Not necessarily oh, anti- the rest of the world anti-drugs. Drugs. I think that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I'm fine with you. Know what? Look, I've been I'm convinced. With you. Yep. <laughs> I think we should make a drug I win. Lab. I did it. You're a winner. Oh, I'm in the bar, <laughs> obviously. Why am I even talking about this? Andre grins as if this settles it. It's going to take us a bit to move our stuff inside. A couple of hours, maybe. Come check back later. Let's get moving. Leave the town. <sighs> oh, man. Well, Kim might not like this says i i uh, uh, that now i regret <laughs> look no. i i came out with my opinion but i was convinced by you allison <laughs> oh no is kim gonna slap us on the wrist Probably. oh gosh 
What do you think of that? I mean, it's a bad call. I think we can all agree. <laughs> oh, no. But we'll make extra money. And we, we said anything about us making money. Cam. You're right, though, but we are a cop that just said to go build your drug lab. You're not <laughs> wrong. Did Kim say anything? He said nothing. Did he get, like, did he get a dot, dot, dot? No, he did not. Okay. He didn't have anything. Okay. Um. <laughs> I don't know why these posts are full of money. I don't know what this deal is. <laughs> but take it. Yeah, I am. Money. That's fine. There's a ton of stuff yeah, right here. Yeah, it's full oh of money God. and drugs. <laughs> <laughs> why? Well, <laughs> what was we that all, about? <laughs> we will all find out together what Kim will do or say to this. <laughs> so this, it's an adventure. We've made a choice and we're going to live with it. Here we go. <laughs> it's going right. to be drama. Stay tuned. <laughs> On the flip side, I am quite pleased that I convinced you all so, <laughs> so easily. <laughs> we are the peer pressured friends at a party who's like, no, no, I won't do drugs. And one person's like, but what if you did? And we were like, like, you, you know have you a compelling argument. Really <laughs> <laughs> you already imagine a thousand people in here. Ten thousand. He waves his hands in an unbelievably lame, non-hardcore manner. It's static vibrations. <laughs> totally transcendent. And I've finished setting up the new compressor too. He looks at the imposing black box in the corner that's churning out uh, the sound. Now the only thing left to do is the name of the club. Will you do the honors, detective? You know I will. <gasps> oh what my gosh, propose, okay. Uh, what do you propose as the name, Andre? A cell? Ask him, ask him. I ask already him, know, ask him. Ask him. Yeah. Ask him. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Ask him. <laughs> I wouldn't build a club, and I wouldn't name it either. Kim, oh, be more Kim. creative. Come on, Kim. <laughs> oh, Sounds like something the crab man would say. <laughs> oh, oh Kim is not happy with us. Why not? The crab man has ideas, Asel. Ideas from another level of consciousness. Oh, yeah, we I should ask him. I don't like the crab man, and I don't like his ideas. His ideas are spooky. Next, please. Okay, so uh, Andre, sorry, Asal, Sal, we're gonna ask. Egghead, Noid, ask Ed Suna. Ask Egghead. Suna? Oh, Suna? <laughs> and yeah, then sure. I ask Suna. I'll do Egghead sure. first. Okay, okay. If he says hardcore. Yako Kata! Yako Kata! Oh. The place to be! Okay. All right. Well, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Yako Kata, the zone of ecological catastrophe. That's too morbid, Egg. Got anything else? Hardcore! Yeah, okay. I knew it. All right, great contribution, Egghead. No, Thank you. It has to be bigger than hardcore. Yes, it has to be even bigger than hardcore to the mega. It has to be bigger than the scene. Suna, what are your thoughts? Yeah. Seems like, don't. don't talk to me. Good. We have too many opinions anyway. All right, I'll go with the rest. Andre? The name. Everything I managed to come up with sounds just wrong. Andre's overthinking it. So Guess we need to pick. The microphone. Yes. You should do it, detective. It would be good for the signs. Noid's right. You've helped us so much. It's the right thing to do. Do you want me to listen to Asal or Noid, or do you want me to proceed? I'm curious. I don't, I don't really care about Noid's opinion, but you could ask Asal. Thoughts? How about something simple? Like the club? That's great, Asal. The club. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want ironic. We want real. Real and true and beautiful. Like a morning after the rave. Okay. All right, no, <laughs> I'm not going to skip you. Okay. The, the amnesia. amnesia. I can't remember the name of the club, Amnesia. Amnesia! <laughs> it's amnesia, guys. Okay. All right, we've got it. Well, the Disco <gasps> Elysium! That's the name of the game. <laughs> <laughs> no Truth of the Furries is a very strong lead, though, I have to say. Uh, <laughs> nah, we like disco. Do we like disco? Call it disco, Elysium. disco Elysium. Are we doing it? It's the name, of the, it? It's the name, name of, of the video game. game. It is yeah. Furies, not Furries. I understand universe. that, but I have no, bad it's news. Furry. It's no I like Furries. Furries. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like that DeLorean word for the world, you mean? Elysium. But Disco Elysium? Wait. Isn't it wacky? Disco's kind of gone, isn't it? 
forgotten. No! Wait. New Disco, also, everybody. The name of the game was Truce with the Furies? No Truce with the Furies. <laughs> sure. That is an awful title. And yeah. I can't, I can't thank been... them enough for not calling it that. Can you imagine <laughs> us making the joke if it was Kurt, No, no Truce with the Furies? <laughs> oh, we just call it Disco. Like, that's a horrifically <laughs> bad title. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, God. that <laughs> we would just be Kurt Fury furries. Like that's Kurt that's all. Furries. <laughs> Kurt furries is very good, I agree. <laughs> wow, an alternate reality where we're Kurt furries right now. Oh, man, <laughs> that would have changed the nature of the game, I gotta tell you. I appreciate that like <laughs> all of chat and I were all, all on the same page and we all got there together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh god what would hey okay wait before we proceed what would kurt's persona be what type of animal i'm thinking oh. possum <laughs> i was gonna wow. say possum or an otter <laughs> i i like possum or like a gross raccoon <laughs> like, <laughs> like <the> little hands. <laughs> yeah <laughs> just, gra- just trying to grab something just get his little grubby hands all over something yeah like, I the think we're we're too. definitely aligned with the type of animal. <laughs> Generally, either a possum or a raccoon. <laughs> Just like a <laughs> fucked up fucking raccoon. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> Raccoons, <sighs> baby. Yes. Oh. All right. Thank you for Kurt's persona corner. We can proceed. Thank you, everybody. The future, but the future is dead. No, it's beautiful, beautiful and brave, like we want it to be, and short. Sure. And memorable. <laughs> yes! That's better than No Truce for the Furies, I agree. It's settled then. <laughs> Everyone welcome to Disco Elysium. A light beam washes over the dance floor, bathing it in violet blue. Andre breaks <sighs> into frenzied dance-like motion to celebrate. Yeah, he does. Yes. Someone yeah. turns up the beat. You yeah. You should go with the flow. Join in on the experience. Start tapping yeah. your foot. Observe his movements. Yeah, what are you doing, Andre? Foot. We're going to dance. No, we're gonna tap dance. that foot. Let's groove. Let's groove. Let's it do it. It feels good. It feels right. But what is this? What is this thing that Andre is doing with his limbs? Observe his movements. What you doing? Yeah. 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 He performs yet another strange pattern of moves, but it doesn't look very cool or modern. Honestly, it looks kind of lame. <laughs> We should talk about it. We should talk about your so-called dancing. Yes, my man. <laughs> yes, my man. He jumps up have... and down with glee. Yes? Oh, no. I was just going to say on the on the topic of Kim's persona, I'd have to agree with Bernie Sandworm. I feel like a meerkat is very accurate. Oh, that's strong. Oh, that's yeah. very strong. He's that's got mad strong. Timon energy. It's the way he like, stands. Like, it's his, <laughs> his upright posture with him kind of leaning back. It looks like a little meerkat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Strong. Agreed. Very good. Anyway, we can continue. <laughs> what is there to talk about if you can express yourself with moves? Dance, the Kurt. The waves Ooh. thump against your rib cage. The speaker oh, no. setup makes everything sound much better, but the beat is still so weak. Okay. Dang, I wish I we have could to just see... dance. Let me see if I can get my Savo Fair up. I want to dance. Yeah, we want I that. I want to dance. I want to dance. I don't think we're going to be able to get it up that much, though, if it's at 3%. Almost definitely not, but I do want to try. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get it however high we can get it, and then... A solid please. 7%. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, what do we... Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, it's our disco pants. Definitely. Our flare-cut trousers. We need to look I fly as hell. dance with somebody. Body. Uh. Oh, I want to feel the heat with somebody. That's is awful. Really awful. <laughs> it's because of Discord. We're all in a different time. We're all out of sync. God, that song hits every time. By mm-hmm. the way, I know we all know it, but that song is so unbelievably good. It has never flinched in the eye of like modern change or anything. Since it came out, everyone's been like, that this is, is the song. Off yeah. there. These are bad pants. I put on Wait, bad oh. pants. <laughs> These, <laughs> These are, are bad pants. pants. These are that. better. Okay. <laughs> we already have our best Avo Fair stuff on is my bad news for the, the crew. That is oh. not great news. Damn. It's not great. Yeah. Um. Well, that's what it is though. Let's Give try it a dance. shot. Hey, man. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, geez. I'm gonna ask him about Three. his hair first. So okay. Individuality. Is that a bald spot? It's hard to tell for sure. 
with the fuse together spikes. But it looks like he's balding. I'm gonna leave that be. Is it important to you to be an individual? Of course, uh, sure, yeah. Otherwise, I'd just be another poor guy with no education and no money. General issue, man. Now I'm all that, and I have radical spikes. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Maybe uh, it was fair a bad enough. idea. Anyway. <sighs> Kim, <sighs> can I talk with you? Will you make this better? Maybe yes. we need to turn up the music. Oh, oh, oh. Try to smell okay. Kim. What? Yes, Why smell is this him, an option? Smell him. Always <laughs> <laughs> sniff. Becomes rigid and uncomfortable. Why would we do this? Why did we do the that? The video game gave me the option and I didn't know how to refuse. <laughs> the lieutenant is fastidious as a cat in matters of his personal upkeep. And yet, in the folds of his jacket, you can just perceive the stale and acrid traces of oil rags transmission fluid and brake pads wait wait there's something else there something that sets your gaba receptors aflutter the lieutenant's aftershave a common drugstore brand strong hints of pine needle but what sort of ideological picture do these smells paint tough to say do you need something, detective? I don't know what the answer to that. Happening? We just ended up in the situation, Cam, and I have no more control over it than you do. Ask number one, let's get a brand. I it's was just wondering, fancy, yeah. Just plain old Tiger <laughs> Super Special. Are you thinking of, you know? He gestures towards your cheeks with an invisible razor. Take Lose it all these off. these bad boys? No way. Do you think I should? Do you think I should, Cam? Do you think I should? Do you think I should? <laughs> the lieutenant considers your mutton chops for a long moment. A slight grimace crosses his face. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really no expert on this sort of thing. Was there something else you wish to discuss? That's it? <laughs> that's all. That's, that's all? What that's a right. anecdote. Hey, Will? can you turn up the music, please? <laughs> you gotta try to dance. <laughs> yeah, music up. The place to be! Make some noise, my church people! Large speakers are set up behind the young man, blasting a familiar song. Vibrations thump through your blue soul. The music sounds much better in the church. He stands on stage behind a table, nodding along to the music and waving his hand in the air. In front of him, the audio mixer. One reel spinning. The other reel deck is empty. Cables run hither and thither. On one side, you see an auxiliary line in with the number 4.5 written next to it. Okay, so that's a clue, I think, for us mm, finding his music. 4.5. Okay. Yeah, you want me to write sure? that down? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I, it probably doesn't matter. No disgrace. Bring it down to party place. <laughs> the first I love him. The second chapter. His voice echoes across the grand hall. I feel something for Egghead. Suna I'm not sure is what it is. <laughs> I Suna feel is something. probably like, I regret this decision yeah. so very much. <laughs> Let's check on Suna. How you feeling, Suna? <laughs> Can you up our check? Yes. Can you do what that? How's the project going? I see that your neighbors have moved in, but all I hear is uh, anodic music. What? What did you say? You can barely hear her over the thumping bass of the hypnotic dance music. I well, said, how's the project going? I can't hear you. The music is too loud. Oh, the project. It's not going well. Why? That guy. I need him to plug a 3.5 cable into the auxiliary input so that I can route the audio mm. signal through the mixer into the speakers. Why don't you just ask him? He doesn't Sorry. listen to me. He only ever seems to care about hardcore and Yekokata. A place to be, apparently. <laughs> I'll stay to him. <laughs> I really like Suna. That's, that's a good callback. Maybe you can get through his <gasps> magic rhymes. Oh, no. She oh, you gotta, you gotta go through him. his... Not again. Lyric lyric puzzle again. It did oh, work yeah. out for Wait. me last time. <laughs> I I have to say real quick. Yes. Um I'm sorry. Gina, typically you get to say that Corey is up to say hi. But the cat I live with just <gasps> walked in and got on my lap. Oh hello! Oh, welcome, hi welcome. Georgie. Georgie. Hi Georgie. Georgie. Wow, she, 
she is really settled in too. Wow. Oh, hello. Okay, we're just gonna be like this for a little while, Georgie. Hello. She's hello. so cute. Yeah, she's great. She's oh. she's Clark, my roommate's kitty. For anyone who listened to Midnight Channel, Clark did a bunch of those demos when we were like Yeah, she was two. Chie in like all of them. <laughs> when we so were cool. infants. I know. <laughs> you guys were babies, that's true. We were, we were little, we little babies. I was putting together my EPK the other day and listened to a couple of those songs again. Oh. So, so, so young, so new. <laughs> So fresh. <laughs> so fresh. <laughs> so new. <laughs> That's the best way to say that. <laughs> oh, I'm oh. so glad that Clark brought, brought her kitty, though. I, that oh, just me makes too. me very happy. That's I don't have Corey wow, me with me today. I don't know where she is, but Penny is with me right now. <gasps> oh, She's very curled nice. up on my feet. She's being very sweet. Oh, Penny. I have I have Zara in the same room as me now. Yeah. Which is nice. She's right next to my desk, so I can look over at her and she'll just open her one little eye and be like, I'm sleeping and look at me and then she'll go in a little hidey hole and poke her little head out and be like, Hi baby. What a good <laughs> old dragon. Oh, Corey heard her name. There she is. <laughs> oh, she's here. <laughs> what a lovely old dragon. My old grandma dragon, she's doing all right. Aww, in that she's dragon. not doing much. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> yes, I have a bearded dragon. <laughs> to answer the question. Yeah, I guess the p -p 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 worked. <laughs> Victor oh. called her. <laughs> I think she actually, they really did work because she showed up right as you typed that and now she's gone again. So <gasps> Do it again. <laughs> powerful, powerful Victor. Thank you. Um, All of chat, do the pss, 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 bring, bring Corey in. Corey, I need you to show up for this. <laughs> oh, no. All right, let's ask Egg about these okay. speakers. Tell yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I can root it through auxiliary. What kind of a cable does she use? 3.5 or 4.5? Yes, 3.5, no doubt about it. It's on the ground. Mm -hmm. oh, she uses 3.5. Yeah. The auxiliary lining is 4.5 millimeter. These two don't mix. I'm going to need you to solve this for me, Egghead. I don't want to be... <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to be in this church forever. I know, Kim. Oh, Kim. So <laughs> don't worry. I have an adapter for it right here. He searches oh? for the cable on the ground and picks it up, looking for the jack. Hang on. This is a 4.5. We're all good, people. Oh, thank you. <laughs> With inc why was this necessary, video game? <laughs> yeah, like, why did, why did it do this? <laughs> and the granny sticks the plug into the auxiliary line. You hear a satisfying click. Great! Someone got through to him. Okay, let's get it all set up. Can we turn the music off, please? Egg the music. Everybody! Everybody! Don't panic! I'm going to turn off the on off for just a sec for a special <laughs> scheduled event. <laughs> See, I like him. Back, but we're doing something else for one moment. All right, don't tell us that Egghead is ready to rave to her tunes, and then I'll turn off the music. Oh, Egghead, this is my favorite line I think you've had in the whole game. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. wow. All right, now I'm gonna go tell her that we're good. Let's do this, and then yep. I'm gonna go talk to Egg again. And he's gonna turn off the music. Yes. What is it? <laughs> All right, I talked to Egghead and he's plugging the cable. Okay, but think you can ask him to turn the volume down a bit? Just in case. Maximum! <laughs> no, Egghead, no, we gotta, we gotta go down a little bit. adorning his face larger than a red dwarf star. Maximum wow. is the only way! I know, I know it is, but could you please turn it down just this instance? Just this one time? Maximum is not the only way. Okay. Pump it to the brick! Pump it to the hard master! There's no other way! Glue style! See? He pumps it to the hard master. It's hopeless. <laughs> Why do you want to turn down the volume? I think what Ed Egghead is trying to say here is that the volume button is stuck on Maximum. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if that's the way it is, if that's what he's trying to say, then... That's interesting. Um, but I don't know if this is a true statement. If it is a true statement, it is very funny that it's literally great. I, don't, oh, I just don't know if it's true. She's here? Yeah. Did it work? Yeah, she's here. Do you want to say hi? She appeared. Oh, she's going to turn on the air purifier. <gasps> <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> 
not bad. <laughs> I can hear it. We can even hear the beeps know. and boops. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you did it, chat. <laughs> you Congrats. summoned her. <laughs> I'm proud of them. <laughs> um, I'm gonna ask her why she wants the volume down. Yeah. The answer is so that we don't blow all of our ears out, but that's okay. Because I'm afraid that something might happen. It's an unknown phenomenon. We can always turn it back up if there's a need. Content down's a hardcore. Of course it is. Oh, I guess it is yeah! stuck. <laughs> Permanent enlightenment, ray of sound. Never mind then. <laughs> Let's get on with our project. I'm going to unmute the speakers on account of five. Everyone oh, he ready? glued it. Yeah, it's glue I style. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. I get it. Yes. <laughs> I got the there. Puts his hand <laughs> up in the air, waiting for the beat to drop. Born ready. Ready. I'm ready to see you, our detectives. The lieutenant nods stoically. Suddenly, your palms are sweaty. The church seems cold and large, somehow. Do we want to hold on for a minute, uh, or are we are we good? Hold 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 on for a moment. What? Mm, mm, no, we should do this. We put a lot of work into this. I feel we like we did. Should do it. Yeah. We should do Five, this. Four, three, two, one. You disengaged. She lifts her hand from the keyboard. Complete silence fills the room. No wind outside. No waves, no floorboards creaking. Total, continuous silence. This is un- The woman looks Ooh. around. In the silence, you see dust move on the floorboards. The driver of the speaker vibrates in the air and then stops. Plasterwork begins to crumble down the walls. Ooh, interesting. In Whoa, silence, what? A low hum starts Whoa. creeping up your spine. Oh it's my God. a song inside you, not in the speakers, not in the room. A great bass sigh in the basement of your mind. Slowly, it builds until the air around you starts to vibrate. It's out there now, in the world, made manifest. It will devour everything, the floorboards, the glass, the streets and the people. Nothing will remain. Guys, what's going on? There's alarm in the man's voice as he steps back to scan the surroundings. A slight rattle like crystal uh, clattering in the cupboard fills the air, joining the chorus. So they can still talk. We can still hear yeah, them talking. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Because I thought it I like it no. just like consumed. I thought it was like a, oh, yeah, like sound. a dome of silence. Yeah. Yeah, like Clearly it was hungry. coming through almost. it or something yeah. like that. Interesting. What? It's getting louder. Says Noid, his eyes <clears throat> riveted on the strange circle of water basins. In the basins, the water looks like it's boiling. Hosiana, mother of Mega! You hear Egghead yell, then something else, but his voice is growing faint. In his mind, a tidal wave approaching from afar, swallowing entire coastlines on its way. Salvation. Hey, uh, what's that weird rattling sound? It was. It was in me at first, and I've never heard anything this hardcore before. before this time. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I've never heard anything this hardcore before in my life. What, one or two? Two is intriguing. Two is what intriguing. is this like thing? Too. The beauty and the beat. The future of dance. Planetary. Yep, exactly. I could. No, Ed, yeah. it's the window. The glass shards around Dolores Day's vacant heart appear to be vibrating from the sound. It almost Ooh. looks as if she's alive. In the corner of your eye, the lieutenant steps aside cautiously, his eyes searching for a possible evacuation route. The window is going to come down. No, the roof. Yeah, there's crap oh falling. Oh my okay, god. Sorry. She looks up, a screech fills the air, a scream of wood and nails. The pillars of the church twist and creak above and around you. Cracks appear on the stained glass window. Oh my Cracks god. Cracks run up the wooden pillars in the dark. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna bring this church to after all We're of this. We're literally gonna destroy this place. Again. A great pulse arises in your flesh. That's it. I'm muting it. She reaches for the keyboard. Oh, I wanna dance. Oh, I wanna 
dance, dance with somebody. With somebody. Do it. Oh do my it, god. Do it. Do it. Do it. You, I can't I can't believe this game. Oh, I want to feel the hate with somebody. <laughs> Thank you, Edgar. <laughs> doesn't stop. Oh Does god. You not, have you? Oh. Yes. I've turned it off. She yells, holding the contact mic in her hand. Andre, pull the compressor! The place is gonna come down! Fuck! I can't shut it up! The signal's passed! It's not in here! It's... In the mixing desk now, building into a positive feedback loop. This Ooh. is it. A great roar. The vault of the roof twists above you. Glass shatters somewhere near the door. It's coming down. All right, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta stop Egghead. I feel like we should do number one, but I don't know. What do you think? I think, I think we are gonna bring the the ceiling down, and that might kill us. I am deeply curious <laughs> what happens if you just let this great hungry sound keep on going. But yeah, yeah, I am also very curious. Oh man. Short. I do feel like this could just straight up end the game. I, I, it <laughs> like, does feel like. It is this could a just place where you can die? I mean, those are I mean, that'd be everywhere. cool. That would be pretty cool if we just die. We haven't died yet. I don't know. Everyone else is happens? freaking out though. A little bit. But then uh, yeah. it stops. Okay. Totally <gasps> and utterly, as if there never was a sound. Only your ears still ring from the shock. Everybody is staring at Egghead. Holding a dangling cable in his hand. Oh, he pulled it. He Black pulled it. Three pin connector. Egg. I pulled the plug. It was getting too hardcore. Okay. All right. All right. You didn't need us to tell you, I guess. You did good, Egg. Fair. Most of the place seems to be intact. Fucking hell. Programmer lady, tell me you were recording that. Four years. 22 people. Millions of reals. All that time, this is what we were up against. Just erased it. Suriswolf isn't gonna believe this. Just erased it? Yeah, what does that mean? but what does did that you record mean? it though? It was dope. I think we can use it. Yes, Andre. I recorded it. Damn, I, I need to send some letters now. I don't know what she means, just erased it, but okay. I yeah. think all of the previous work that they were doing towards getting this, uh, get discovering this, right? Am I wrong? I get, not... but was that, did that fail? That seems like a success, right? I mean, they lost, they lost their game, didn't they? Like, they totally lost their game that they were working on that was related to this work, right? Did they lose it? No, I mean their 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 game went under because their game went under. But well, I guess that's this, what I mean. This yeah, wiped some sure. of the data, which is why she's been tracking it. Right, right. But right. I feel like if the goal was to figure <clears throat> out what was at the source of the silence, this says, "Hey, there's something there." Mm hmm. I guess. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it, I clearly get, there the is way something. It's is really hard to know specifically yeah. what yeah. she means. Yeah. Thank you all for doing this. Eggman, you too. And you, officer. I don't know what we've discovered, but I know what it sounds like now. That's a start. Wow. That was Kim, did wild. Did you hear that? Ask yeah. Him. It was very hard not to. I think you're right. There is something going on here. And you need to be very careful with it. I promise, Whoa. officer. We will not play it again. Okay, uh, yeah. what was that? I've never heard anything like it. It was mathematical information from the anomaly presented as a waveform. That's what it was technically. Theoretically... She shakes her head. I have no idea. <sighs> I've never even heard of anything like this. A voice seems muffled in the silent church. It's your ears adjusting after the exposure. You're going to write to Sulislaw? Yes, mm -hmm. our lead designer. And maybe some of the producers, too. And some of the writers. If they're sober enough to open a transmission. They need to hear. That it wasn't her fault. Or theirs. They need mm -hmm. to hear about this. Don't worry. I won't send the recording. Although I doubt they have the speakers to produce the frequency anyway. What happens now? Are you going to continue? Stay <laughs> here. I'm going to stay here with these lunatics. Send letters. Maybe meet Suliswolf. 
also devise further measurements. I want you to know that's totally chill with us. <laughs> I don't care, but thank you anyway. That's the best she can manage for Andre. It's quite a lot in truth, for her at least. Now, I have a theory to come up with. Some kind of preliminary explanation to all this. Or the letter will sound like I've lost my mind. Yes, and we have to get back to stabilizing Martinez. Instead of demolishing it with loud bass noise of unknown origins. <laughs> so tiny <laughs> in your stomach. You're still alive. You have an explanation for all this. Somewhere deep in you. You just don't have the pieces yet. You we don't do? know enough about the world. But that Joyce, if you knew all she knows, could put it together. Interesting. Ooh. That's really cool so information. We need, okay. So we need to talk to Whoa. Joyce about something. Fascinating. Uh, wait, pale and oh. Back to Joyce, baby. Yeah. Okay, that's clearly not for us right now, but good to know. Do we um, want to go and try and dance? Let's just give dancing a shot. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Should we? Can we? Uh, I know we're about to try this check, but oh, not related to that. Can we just save you. anyway? Because we just had this big moment. A scare. Yeah. Yeah. Um, very quick, I think the cat might have gotten under my new bed frame. I just have to pick up my mattress real quick and see if it's <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. oh, It was walking around and then I, you might have heard a thud in the middle of that. It was me <laughs> with my headphones being like, where did this cat go? And I hear a faint scratching. So I think it's under my mattress. Is she stuck? I, maybe so. So I want to check. Is she going go on an her. adventure? Go get uh, her. Probably a little of both. So let me check. <laughs> we will wait. <laughs> Gina and I will hang out here. We will indeed. Yeah. <laughs> As we wait for Georgie to get out of trouble. I know. <laughs> oh. Oh. So I guess the, the other question is, do we want to go straight back to Joyce? We It's a new day. We can both talk to her about this and also talk to her about the cryptozoologist thing. We also oh, could yeah. try to find the cryptozoologist first. If we I kind of, I, I kind of want to see if we can find the cryptozoologist first and then go talk to Joyce, if that's okay. Yep, that's fine. Can we, can we try that? Yeah, um, absolutely. That would be awesome. Um, after we try and dance here, which I don't think we're going to be able to do. Yeah, Is it a white the, check? It's a white check. It's a white check. Um, okay, that's good. But yeah, we, you know, with our, it's with not, our 3%. That, that doesn't mean it's super promising, but <laughs> it's something. Um. Yeah, I wanna I wanna find this guy looking for this this special stick bug. <laughs> There's a stick bug that's hanging outside on my front porch right now. It's been there for like two days now, and it's just there, just in the wrong Are you environment. Sure certain it's not a magical mystical creature that of unknown origin. It could very well be. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I I. I the origin is dubious, but I know vaguely what it is. <laughs> so, turns out it was just a stick. With legs! How do you explain that? Magical. Mystical. Unknown to this world or the next. <laughs> is Jake back? I don't think so. No, I don't I might just dance <laughs> without him. It's good to see you. Oh no, we gotta dance with- <sighs> What if I danced without him, though? All right. Or I could leave and look for Morel while he's gone, and we yeah, can- Yeah, 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 okay, let's leave okay. for stick, stick, stick We can dance man. later. We and can we'll always dance. Yeah. There's always dancing in the future. <laughs> Let us go. Okay. Stick bug man, we're coming for you. So we think he was near reeds on a coast. Yes. It's our general, that's the best we got with this guy. That's what we got. What time okay. is it? The morning, yeah. okay. We, we looked last night, but we, we failed. Correct. It was just, yeah, it was dark. Money? Just on the ground? Not, is that just Hi. free money? Hi there. Are you back? Is the cat yes. free? No. I guess we can go. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? <laughs> there, there the cat is. Yeah, the cat did get under there and was scratching away at stuff. And so I had to like lift my mattress up to try to get her. <laughs> but, but she didn't want to go. And oh, I, no. And so... So I removed like a whole thing so she has a little passageway to get out if she wants, but she's just still stuck under there. She's hanging. Is this something that she can repeat? Is this like gonna be just a problem in your life that the cat can get stuck um, under your bed? No, I've, I've, uh, the problem was I opened the, uh, my, 
the thing I built for my bed has a drawer at the bottom so that I have some extra space. And the drawer was out, so she got in the drawer. And I was like, okay, that's fun. But the thing <laughs> is, the drawer, the inside of the drawer, leads to like a big dead zone, basically. Um, and I didn't know it led there, so she just disappeared. And I was like, <laughs> where did, where the hell did Ghost Cat go? And then I suddenly hear this little scratching, and I'm like, no. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> no, she's trapped. <laughs> wow. Well, there that's an goes. adventure. Now she's out. Yeah. Oh, okay. As long as she can get in and out, then that's good. We were going to dance without you, but we needed to dance with somebody, which was you, so we didn't dance. So we left. Oh, that was really <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thanks for not now dancing with anyone we're, else. Absolutely. We're looking for the stick bug man now, and then we will go back and attempt to dance. But I don't think we're going to be able to dance. <laughs> oh, what's that? I don't no, know. Some Emma? sunglasses with Savoir Faire plus one. <gasps> hey, <laughs> hell yeah. We can dance a little better now. I'm just actually a not sure where we are. I don't think we've ever been over here. I don't think so either. Yeah, this is new. I, I just was following her. the reads. I'm going to be real. That was my full. No, oh, it's a... okay. This is where we are. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, wait a second. No, it, it's a good, um, good strategy. Can you walk over that board thing to the left? Oh, you? no, not really. Mm, That's why I'm trying okay. to figure out where I can go here. It's a little hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Where is this man? Is this a real bottle? No. No. Oh. I okay, assume we'll just find here. him randomly. Is there something we have to do to that summon him? Like, there. It's a great place to hide something. Kind of out of the way. Being so oh? close to the water. Uh, what is this about? Nothing. Yeah. Just a hunch. The hunch passes, leaving you there by the old boy bobbing in the water. Time to go. Oh, well, yeah, now really? I think there's what? something here. Yeah, why would you want me? Yeah, what? Yeah. Don't just tell me that when I'm tabbing and I know I can't see anything. Oh, is this is you? that him? Are you is that him? him? Are you, are you the, the... the people oh, out there? Oh my goodness. Missing. Wait, there's two people. There we go. Oh, there he is. Oh, wow. Oh, my and the crypt little guys. Not out of this gym. Just followed the reads. I'm I'm, I'm kind of you did baffled it. that that paid off. <laughs> we found it. I don't know how to feel about the fact that that paid off. It is a cylinder on the ground in which the man is arranging some netting. It looks like some kind of trap. He notices you. Who's there? Oh, the police. Hello, officers. His self-conscious enthusiasm Hello. renders his movements ungainly. He looks like your understanding of a scientist. Is that the police? Why are the police here? Hi, Gary. Down Gary, the crypto fascist. I'll handle it. <laughs> oh, Gary. Gary. Gary's the one that they're staying with, right? Um, yeah, their friend that they're staying with. Yep. Here. Fascinating. Yep. <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure? That's sarcasm. He takes no pleasure from your appearance. Do you want uh, to uh, say Lena sent me? Yeah, your wife sent me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, of course. Thank you for passing along the message. That damn water lock is broken, and we can't go all the way around the 881. Uh, yeah, that was me. I broke the... No, we don't need to say that. We don't need to tell him that. <laughs> water <laughs> lock's been them. fixed. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, good. Yeah. We should really be getting back. Gary could use a hot shower and a warm bid. Did he say we can go back now? Gary. <laughs> Gary. Yes, Gary. <laughs> we can go soon. If you see Lena, tell her I won't be long. Sir, your wife is waiting for you. I just have to do one more round. See if the phasmid has taken the bait. Then we're going. He refastens a bit of netting that has come loose in the wind. For all his passion, this man is diligent and patient. You could learn things from him. Do you want to learn about the phasmid? Okay. Sure, tell us about yeah. the phasmid. Mm. I would love to know. Well, first of all, it's damn difficult to find, which is why we've been knee-deep in the reeds laying traps for it. What makes it so uh, difficult? Because it looks like a reed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's also like a ghost, right? Am I wrong? Oh, yeah, it's like I a think ghost so. stick bug. Good question. Yeah. Being a phasmid of the order Phantasmodea, a ghost insect, yeah. It disguises yeah, itself wow. as plant matter. In this case, the reeds. 
awful lot of reeds around, aren't they? I thought that was just a cheeky way to say it uses camouflage. No, I think it's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it's why it's a cryptid. A straight up ghost. Yeah, it's, oh, a, wow. it's not a cryptid because it's a well disguised bug. It's a ghost. <laughs> Okay, Allison, I was on the same page as you, though. I was not getting full-ass ghost. Yeah, uh, I, I thought I thought that's just scientists being... Because scientists fucking do that. They're dumb and cheeky about shit all the time. And they're like, it's so hard to find. It's like a ghost. Like, you're, look, you're not wrong. It, it, could, it could just be a well-disguised stick bug. But, but I like the idea of it being an actual ghost bug. <laughs> it's the memory of a bug that just wanders around at night. And I suspect it may have also developed other specialized techniques to protect itself from predators or scientists in our present case. What sort Sorry, of honey, I wasn't, I wasn't calling you dumb. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's my hypothesis. Yeah that it has evolved certain electrochemical defenses that allow it to interfere with animal perception, impeding pattern recognition, confusing the visual cortex. Whoa! I cannot describe how these defenses work, much less how they evolve, without studying a live specimen. Whoa. Yes, it makes perfect sense. You're beginning to suspect there's something paranatural about this phasmid. Well, yeah, I'm assuming. I got, I got a little coriander. All right, how big? <gasps> how big this bug? I'm how big? I'm expecting it to be quite giant. One known species of phasmid called the Megaphasmodea zoensis is about Whoa. the size of a grown man's forearm. So, Whoa! Big bug. Large. Seems puny, to be honest. Uh, what? <laughs> physical instrument, so... why would you think that? Physical instruments, like, I wanted to wrestle it, but if it's the size of my forearm, it's too small. I can snap yeah. it like a twig. <laughs> uh, uh, why are you interested in this stick bug? Aren't there more sensational animals out there? Typical well, not if it's a ghost bug. <laughs> insects are much more sophisticated creatures than those unversed in zoology give them credit for. Even simply catching a glimpse of the Insulindian phasmid would be the apex of my, of any, cryptozoologist's career. But to study it and its defenses, find out how it stayed hidden so long. What have you discovered so far? I hope this guy is actually rad and not an asshole because well, so I far. Also, his buddy's a fascist, so. True. <laughs> That's I'm true. Sorry to say. <laughs> No one's ever captured a specimen, so all our information is based on first and third hand accounts. And I was about to say, oh. from what we understand, literally nobody's seen this bug. This is not correct. No one's ever seen it before, ever. This could be a whole hoot nanny. Yeah. So very true. That... As as cryptids are wont to do, you know, yeah. never be found. <laughs> but instead of Bigfoot or a chupacabra or the Mothman, it's a stick bug. Big, big stick bug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, stick bug. <laughs> this Not man is getting yet. stick bugs so hard right That's now. That's what makes it encrypted. <laughs> um, just out of curiosity, <laughs> if there's no proof of its existence, how do you know it's real? I know it's real. Oh, God. Yeah? Yeah, the cryptozoologist says brusquely enough that even he seems taken aback by it. It's clear <laughs> that his obsession with the phasmid is driven by something more than the pure pursuit of scientific advancement. By which oh. I mean, I've heard enough first-hand accounts to believe quite firmly that the Insulindian phasmid is more than mere superstition. Lena said Ooh. there has been a sighting of it here in the Martinez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. let's say that. The most recent sighting was by a couple of teenagers along the coast here. That's what brought us to Martin A's specifically. It's the first credible sighting in several decades. Admittedly, it's an unusual location for this species, but with all the sewage runoff upstream, it probably doesn't matter much anymore. Maybe it's died out? I have to yeah. resist the thought. Such an extraordinary creature is doubtlessly highly resilient. After all, it's generally thought to be capable of parthenogenesis, 
So there's a lot of assumptions happening. Yeah, there's a, yeah. Lot, there's a lot of assumptions happening oh, here. I like Encyclopedia Medium Failure. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Good job, Encyclopedia. Oh, Encyclopedia. I, I agree with Nochi Sad. I'm also super into this guy's Australian voice. <laughs> he should do an Outback commercial. don't need yeah. mouse to reproduce. Makes it yeah. easier for a species to survive in adverse conditions. So like frogs? Yeah, lots of bugs can do that too. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Females reproducing without males? A oh, travesty. <laughs> a crime <laughs> against passion and common sense. This arouses, this arouses so special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, do number one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I do love one. That's three fine. though. It just <laughs> cracks me <laughs> up. <laughs> yes. Yes, Indian phasmid is a very clever insect. That's why it's so damn difficult to catch. But as a scientist, I'll try my best to remain dispassionate. Tell me more about the traps. Yeah. Well, they may not look impressive, but Lena designed them quite cleverly. So I'm sure they'll do the trick. Lena designed the traps? Oh, yes. Oh, he says with some pride. How do they Aww. work? Simple. Attracted by the locusts. The phasmid crawls down the funnel and, having eaten its fill, can't get back out. Do bugs expand like that? Wait. Wait. Do they have stomachs? Have eaten its... They... Hmm. But they I have mean, exoskeletons. So I don't like, think they go like whoop. So with like ticks can like enlarge them. Um, ticks are not insects, but they are uh, I don't know, arachnids. Um, but they can like get really fucking gigantic yeah, by drinking they, blood. They get all, they got all, they got all swollen up. And yeah. I think mosquitoes, same thing, can get pretty okay. large. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. Just couldn't really imagine that with like a stick bug, but yeah, ticks are not insects. Insects have six legs, and arachnids have eight. And ticks, ticks are... aren't insects. No, they're they're like they're arachnids, like spiders. Like spiders. Oh my gosh, I did not know that. Yeah, they're not like r really related to spiders. They're just grouped as arachnids because they have eight legs. Because they have eight six. legs. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know they had eight legs. Yeah, um, I just like them mites. greatly. Yeah, thank you, Bernie Sandworm. <laughs> Ticks, spiders, and mites are all in the same group. Ticks thank are you, Bernie Sandworm. <laughs> <laughs> spiders we love and cherish. Ticks, nope, no, not at all. <laughs> They no get, thanks. I just remember I just once got two of them stuck behind my ears and I didn't know no. for longer than I would have liked and it was terrible. Uh, 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 oh, no, no, no. I'm just remembering that one time we were up at, at the lake and we went like, yeah, oh, fun little hike. And yeah. then we got out of the hike and we looked at our legs and we were covered in ticks. Yeah, and it, it was had like to all a dozen of us plus. at that lake. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Scariest moments of my life. Oh, just fun. terrible. I hate them oh. terribly. <laughs> Terrible, terrible. And we like immediately were like, fuck that and like ran into the lake. Yep. <laughs> and that doesn't help. No. no, but it made me feel better. Yeah. And some oh. of them hadn't latched on yet, so it actually did help. No, actually, oh, okay. I don't think any of them had. They were just like yep. hanging on. Yep. Uh, thank God. But Ugh. that was, that would have been a terrible way to start that vacation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dreadful. God, a nasty little. Oh. Anyway, spiders are fine, I guess, but not, not the other two. Would you like? I'm so sorry. Can I give you a tick fact? Yes. Oh yes, you may give me a tick <laughs> fact. Thank you, fact. Allison. I'm so, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, in our area here in California, we have a lizard called a fence lizard, the western fence lizard, and it actually has an enzyme in its blood that can remove and, like, I guess, get rid of Lyme disease. Mm. So, ticks actually, like, will latch on to these lizards and then when to they eventually themselves? like drink their fill and fall off they have they will cure themselves and fence lizards keep keep the rate of Lyme disease low that is fascinating area. actually That's so... <laughs> isn't yeah. that really interesting <laughs> i just found that really fascinating because we do have ticks here but we don't have a lot of Lyme disease so 
because of the thank lizards. You, thank you, lizards. Well, thanks, <laughs> lizards, for, for keeping away the limes. That's very yeah. cool. <laughs> Thank you for this tick fact, Alice. <laughs> but I think tick it's more of a, a lizard fact. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I think the hero is the, is the lizard. <laughs> the hero is definitely the lizard. This has been <laughs> Allison's Tick Corner. Let's go. <laughs> anyway, we can continue. <laughs> At least that's the intention. The net isn't a perfect solution, but we didn't want to use anything that might damage the specimen's delicate exoskeleton. What are you using as bait? Locusts. Yeah. Nearly all known phasmids are herbivores, of course. But we've hypothesized that the insulindian phasmid might occasionally prey on other insects. Is Ooh, it's an omnivore. Inside the traps, a number of locusts crawl and tumble over one another in a tiny, chittering swarm. A meat-eating stick insect, does it pretend to be the reeds as part of its ambush behavior? This seems unlikely. I'm going to say that. Thank you yeah. for your opinion. We have also included plant material in the traps to satiate your skepticism. Okay, thank you. Not All a big right. fan of skepticism, this one. What will you do <laughs> if these traps don't work? They'll work, I assure you. The predatory hypothesis, using locusts as bait, accounts for the failure of previous efforts by other teams, which use plants. We have given this some thought. Okay. I really yes. enjoy... What? Oh, sorry. I good. really just enjoy his juxtaposition between using these very big words, being very well read, very well studied, and also saying nonsense that could be completely made up and have no bearing on any kind of actual thing that has happened. Yep, I agree with yeah. that. He's like, it's totally not that the bug doesn't exist. That's not why they failed. Instead, the only logical conclusion is that the creature that otherwise should be an, an uh, herbivore must eat meat because that's the only reason that they must have failed in the past. It's just like, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's it's a classic cryptozoology. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty classic. Lena seems pretty eager for you to come home. And I'm eager to return to her, I assure you. But I can't leave before we finish with these traps. My wife understands that just as well as anyone. I don't think she does. He looks south, where Lena mm. would be. Come on, Morel. We've been soaking out here for days. It's time to go back. Gary, why you do you sound, sound like that? He sounds <laughs> insufferable. It's time to go back. He <laughs> <laughs> matched it perfectly. I thought the line was really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a squid word. It is. Absolutely yeah. not. I won't let Lena down. Because I, I, my mind was like, it sounds kind of like a Muppet of some sort. <laughs> Come on. She wants us back. I'm soaked up to my nuts over here. We'll both catch weed crabs if we don't dry out soon. I also, I love the fact, I love the fact that Gary has said nothing that would hint at him being fascist. <laughs> but he has said nothing. But we have information for no reason. <laughs> You're right. It is Mar. funny. It's like a meta. It's some greater, higher being dropped down to grant us that information. <laughs> yeah. You well, can tell by his voice. Later, oh, God. Sounds like the cryptozoologist's wife shares a special connection to the phasmid somehow. Interesting. Oh, thank you, Caddy Cake, for the sub. Many thanks. Thank you very much. I didn't know the phasmid was so important to Lena. Of course yeah. it's important to her. She's seen it. A verified sighting, on record. One of only four this century, and it's hers. Wait, what? She okay. did? Really? She sighted the phasmid? She didn't tell me that. Yes. That's how we first came to know one another, in fact. Oh, wow. Oh. That's her story to tell, not mine. <laughs> Aw. Or else kind of cute. Aw, they, they met about... This bug. This bug. <laughs> Needless this to say, love bug. <laughs> mysterious phasmid. Oh, Suffice yeah. to say, it's long been our dream sick, to man? find proof of the Insulindian phasmid together. I can't abandon course now. I hope he's not sick. He has been hanging out in a bog for a week. Yeah, so. he's <laughs> definitely sick. Maybe you should come back to the whirling warm-up, come back, check the traps later. Yeah, do yeah. that. 
Yeah. Oh, no, no. The traps need to be monitored on a regular schedule. Leave your fascists here. Do if the fares mid were to starve while we were sitting tea at the hostel. Are you going to give us the task of monitoring these traps so that we I can send swear. You back to your wife? He's dead set on this. <sighs> What, what if, if I check, check the, the traps, traps for you? you? <laughs> <laughs> Kim's gonna push us in the swamp. <laughs> to take such an interest in our work here, officer. He looks at you with obvious surprise. Cryptozoology and detective work are very similar. Chaos I like is my that. method, and I am at science. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm all in with this crypto shit. I'm hooked. I'm now. all in. I like number one. <laughs> yeah, one works. Or three. Yes, you indeed. Both require a great deal of research, attention to detail, and, above all, persistence. Oh, where are the traps? There are four in total. <laughs> One is to the south, on this little peninsula. By the boathouse is there. It's very near. Another we set in Land's End. Oh, yeah, we all pass the east. It's behind a small sand dune there, on your way to the old radio tower, after the church. The third is set near the canal. Where you crossed, by a concrete slab, a big thicket of reeds going up the slope, and among them, he gestures to trap in uh, the trap in front of him. You should check at least one of those before returning to this one, since I just said it. This one's more of a technicality, but still, better safe and stupid than sorry. That seems like true. A lot. Do we really have time for this extracurricular venture? What? What? Aren't you having fun? <laughs> say that. Say that, please. Even relative to examining a weak old corpse, I'm not sure mucking about in the reeds qualifies as fun. But have it your way, detective. If you think it's important, oh. you have been right before. Thanks. What do I do if this is yeah. the core, I guess? <laughs> the police corps is behind us. Success. Yeah. Yeah, really. That's true. <laughs> What do I do if I find a bug? Bring it to yeah. me at once. Just make sure the trap is closed tight. He's not comfortable with the possibility that you'll claim the find, but he's lying about this even to himself. What if, what I, if encounter I encounter the basement? That's in highly wild. unlikely, officer. But in the event you do, I'll spray you with a pheromone mixture I developed. Perfect. It's made of Excellent. musk and research chemicals. The pheromone should attract the insect to you, or at least prevent it from bolting at the side of you. It's quite potent. Will last you about a week. Lay it on Lay me. Lay it on me thick. <laughs> <laughs> Present your arms. Oh, boy. We are covered in bug pheromones. Did he put that stuff on himself? Probably. Maybe not. I... Thick. <laughs> thick. <laughs> A double helping as you present your other armpit and then gives you a satisfied nod. I hope you're not buying this. It dispenses it without letting you touch the canister, so it would be precious like holy water. It is precious. A single dose cost me 50 real to develop. Not that I expect you to understand self-financing one's own research. This guy is something yeah. else. <laughs> I like this guy. Yeah, he looks at the lieutenant with disdain, then puts the spray back in his pocket. I am ready. Oh, Let's go can. find a bug. Which means you two can pack up and go back to the whirling. Whatever he thinks about this detour, it's clear that these men are exhausted and in need of assistance. Finally, yeah. empathy. Someone's talking sense. Thank you. Oh my god! Not no. <laughs> I will stop breaking down, Kim. If you have any more questions. Now's the time to ask. We'll be gone once you get to it. If it's more cryptid-related business you want to discuss, you'll have time for that later, too. But what if the information is vital on the hunt? Do you want to the ask why, how he became a cryptozoologist? Yeah, let's yeah. ask how he got into this just the land always no. liked animals and puzzles. Searching for cryptids is a bit of both. He seems reluctant to talk about himself, but he'll open up. You're living if your childhood dream out there? Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. I guess we can it's say that. It's not Charles' yeah. play. Just because I have to trape through the mud every so often. His eyes narrow. That's fair. Why not just be a zoologist? Real animals are puzzling, too. Yeah, true. Yeah. Real. Sorry. I know you think one is a respectable oh. profession, while the other is superstition. Everyone does. Sorry, sorry. We didn't sorry, mean to sorry. offend. Stepping, <laughs> stepping on it. 
I, I don't. I'm a, it's a profession just like any other. Um, Trump's most... Wait. <laughs> what are the other ones? Honestly, being as a courtesy as Trump's most of the other garbage I've seen people do? Could you, uh, you know, one or two? I don't know. Hmm. My methods do not differ from other scientists. I simply draw upon a wider variety of evidence. And I have more hope that something truly surprising might happen. Okay. That's fair. Has anything truly surprising <laughs> okay. ever actually happened to right. you? No, as I said, I have yet to catch a cryptid. Although I have come close. Close enough to keep trying. That was really He's, weird. The line he read was completely different than... It was, yeah. and that threw me off. Yep, yeah, same. What kind uh, of evidence do you use? Everything from forgotten regional law to newspaper accounts, like the one that brought us here, to look for the phasmid. I keep a very open mind. Uh, huh. So you've never discovered a cryptid. I'm going to say just thanks. Sure, yeah. Yes, uh, okay. let's talk We're about good. specific cryptids. Is that continuing that yeah. discussion? Got it. I believe so. Well, tiny cages. <laughs> tiny cages. Yes. Do we want to talk to <laughs> tiny fucking cages. Gary? Gary's still here. We should say something to Gary. Say he might have an opinion. Maybe, maybe we can <laughs> just. He's. I don't know. I don't like Gary. Hello, but... I'm Gary. Hello. Oh my Very God. Very generous of you to help us out, officer. He just oh wanted to hear his That's awful. Why does he sound like that? Yellow man. I mean, officer. He's racist. Oh my He's God. He's so yeah. racist. That... I, so I guess we knew that. No, we're not talking to Gary Oh my God. Anymore. I'm sorry, Jita. No. He's racist. <laughs> uh, this insect trap so we can return to civilization. <laughs> Oh my god. Not a lover. What? No. <laughs> I'm done with Gary. <laughs> no, no. Gary, the least subtle he racist of he's all shitty. time. Fine, I'll be a dick to him. Very generous of you to help us out, officer. Not a lover like of the great nature. outdoors? Just not this bloody coast. Not this it's mostly bloody coast. drunk and degenerates <laughs> that come here. This is Degenerous. awful. This man respects authority too much. Yeah. See the truth inscribed upon thine own visage. Pretend thou art a paragon of virtue. I am neither of those drama. things, I can assure you. I am a by the books, clean as a whistle <laughs> officer of the law. I'm not even tempted to touch intoxicants. <laughs> Drunks and degenerates, that's my crew. Sadly, I think I might be a drunk or a degenerate. Maybe both. Nobody's perfect. I'm sure you've been tempted by a drink. Uh, 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 one or four? I don't know. <laughs> do you want to shame him? Yeah. I yeah, I would do four. Or is this agreeing with him? Nobody's perfect. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just say four. Oh, I've been tempted. But someone has to stay strong for Revacol. Revacol? That's Revacol. Yeah. A hard K, unlike other people. You said Revacol? <laughs> I like to pronounce it the hard way. The old way. Oh, oh he's gross. Way. Ugh. Listen, trying to relay some hidden message. Ugh. Inviting you to mispronounce it, too. Perhaps. It's odd. It's a secret we will not. Right. A very fringe national. Do the mug. Adventure. Do the mug. I like taunting all the racists with My the mug. mug? Why would you think <laughs> that? His eyes widen at the sight you're of you're a piece the of shit. He's seen it before, all right? Can we just... Like write out the column of racist. Yeah, is there is there a are you racist? Okay, wait a sec. I'm trying to find. Well, the... yeah, isn't isn't number one basically being like you are racist? Yeah, yeah, that is the one where you just say like that's basically it. I want to. I like calling him out. Yeah, I'm into. Yeah, it. he's shitty. Really, I hear it all the time. All in jest, of course. Just admit it. Does suck that Kim's here, the... though. Okay, I mean, it, it is important though because this is the guy that we, whose door we left open for, um, uh, the, uh, the and yeah, yeah Mart, and yes. who also put the mug in the trash behind the world. Like, this is actually important. Maybe. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, I did. I know I shouldn't have. Wow, well, we. I it's am his, very sorry, it actually officer. is his mug. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, not <laughs> good. We found the me. racist. Is this wow. character? This literally his entire character. We're gonna find this guy. Oh, okay. I feel like two fifty is gonna be hard, but we should get a hundred bucks from him. 
Not Gary. We Wait. Or I just want information, or do we want to extort this racist? I want to extort this racist. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to try to get $100 from him? I want to. I want to. I or do we want to try for two hundred fifty? I just get. We could try. It scares me. I, like I don't want to get nothing. Let's do like two hundred fifty and then see if we can bring it down. Sure, sure. Or a hundred just to like. We can try two hundred fifty. We can say hundred feels it. good and, and safe, but you know, but it's also that's a nice amount of money, you know. Okay, I deserve that, and I won't do it again. You have my yeah word. right. I don't know what it's got into me. Stuffing my garbage in another man's property. It's. Uh, I've been having trouble at work lately. It, the Koikos are price dumping us out of competition. What did you do, Gary? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Just answering some questions. Wait, did we get money? The law. We have a slip. Where's the money, for Gary? So we need to figure yeah. out. Yeah, I think we have to take it to the bank. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know nice. a guy who works with the trash collection services, CS Municipal. He gave me a master key for the trash containers of Martinez. Why would you need to get that into everyone's trash? Yeah. So I can use the Whirling's trash compactor to store my own stuff. Garbage disposal is expensive as hell. The damn Bohemians run it like a mob. I'm sorry, okay? I thought I could cut costs. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have disgraced myself. Why wow, you this folded great. so How? quickly? No need for the histrionic, sir. It was, after all, just a trash container. He studies his reaction. Gary doesn't answer. Gary, did you put the clothes of a murder victim, the man who was hanged behind the whirling and rags in the trash container? <laughs> yes. Uh, please, let me explain. It's not like. Oh that. my God. I was oh, only. Oh my God. Up. I live right across the yard from where he was hanged. And I saw him stripped naked, all the clothes lying around in the yard, smelling. People are animals, you know? So you confiscated evidence, okay. is what I'm hearing. Then what, happened? then what happened? Then I came out to clean up the rags, because no one else would. I put them it's into a the world. crime crash, scene! Along with a broken mug, admittedly. Okay, he changes his wow. mind mid-sentence. Okay. I was coming to throw the mug away, and, well, I threw the mug there and the clothes, too. Right. It was just civic duty. Exactly. That's exactly what it was. Civic duty. As he shifts uncomfortably, mm -hmm. a series of clicks, like the clinking of glass beads against one another as they roll across a hardwood floor. You've heard this sound before. What? But where? What's that strange sound? What? sound that clinking i just heard as you moved don't mess with me i think you know what i'm talking about i like that one i haven't the slightest there's lots of weird stuff out here in the reeds though insects trash could be the wind shifting some garbage nearby the sound mm -hmm. you heard was not the sound of something easily abandoned what what you is would it the know ceramic an... of the it's the rest of the armor it's the ceramic. oh like the yeah maybe he has it armor no i i mean yes of course <laughs> i know he was wearing armor but i don't know anything about it this guy's an super sus telling the truth but he's too scared to admit more wrongdoing there's something going on here you should observe him more closely after this topic is concluded. Okay, so there's gonna be a check on the main thing. I hope yeah. I can help your investigation. He's visibly in my relieved. small way. Hmm. Does this mean you were in his apartment, admiring his colonial yeah. mug collection? Yeah. Perhaps yeah. stealing from a racist, and then extorting said racist. That's a high legendary. Yeah, our composure's pretty good. Let me check wow. if there's anything I can do to get it farther up, but that's not bad. Um, okay. Let's yeah. See before that he leaves. That would be really great. Okay. Uh, no, that's for Also dancing. save. Composure. Yeah, I'll do that too. Yeah. Once a moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent. I did not expect this, but... Nope. <laughs> yeah. That but worked we, out, though. We are <laughs> not even talking to Gary. Really yeah. glad we talked to Gary. Me I too, because we I was absolutely not to leave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you were ready to bail. I just, you like, know? I didn't like his vibe. Let's I be mean, real. I mean, rightfully so. His vibes are rancid, but it's... <laughs> 
I just didn't want that in my life, but I guess if we can bully him, that works out too. Oh, yeah, it's great. I mean, <laughs> yeah, there we go. There yeah. it is. That shirt Easy. looks yeah. very uncomfortable on him. Look at the buttons, barely keeping that thing together. Oh, he's wearing as if the armor. Something is wow. To rip out from underneath. His massive musculature, something worn underneath it. Yes, mm -hmm. like a piece yeah. of ceramic armor, for example. One that makes a clicking sound when the plates meet each other, resembling pearls or marbles, stolen from the corpse in the yard near where he lives. I see mm. you're a connoisseur of high quality combat gear. <laughs> I really figure it out, officer. I'm sorry I didn't tell you at once. I was. He unbuttons the shirt. I was ashamed of what I did, and I didn't want you to know. You At see, least we're not wearing the boots right now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was Cause... thinking that too. It's like, boy, we would have looked really um, like hypocrites, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh. You see the gleaming white ceramic shine underneath a thin layer of interlocking plates covers his gaunt torso. We're not detecting falsehood, sire. He's gearing up to admit the truth. This shame is surprisingly sincere. Gary! Hmm. What's going on? Later, morale. I've got apologizing to do. <laughs> You've got apologizing. Got apologizing. <laughs> the lieutenant's tone is icy. Give Ooh. me the armor now. Why did you really put those clothes in the trash? Why did you lie to me, Gary? Do you know who killed the man, Gary? Gary? Okay. <laughs> Why'd you? I like. Oh, these are all good. These are all uh, really good. Why'd you? Why? Uh, why uh, why, why, why'd you yeah. really put the chest out? Or three? I was picking yeah. those pieces off him, and I was watching them do it. And they'd scattered his clothes all over the yard. Everything was smelling. He looks at his feet. So I went there to take out the trash and started cleaning up. All those rags on the ground, him swinging up there, and I had a lapse of honor, sir. I thought, he's a foreigner. They all say he wasn't from here. Only the caress was left. So I stripped it off him. It was early in the morning. No one saw me. I took it with me. It was a mistake. Had I known it'd give you guys trouble, I, I wouldn't have. Fuck. I mean, <laughs> you, you, you stole armor off of a dead man yeah. before the police dealt with the crime scene. I mean, <laughs> and, and and tampered with the crime scene in every way. Yeah, and then he wore it for his little jaunt to catch a stick bug. I just yeah, feel like, like <laughs> oh my god, contrition here. So Sorry, he's not <laughs> trying to flatter anyone. Yeah, I just yeah. feel like this. I mean. <clears throat> The game is like he's so sincere, and I'm like, but he's wearing it. No, no, I, he's not, I, I, I don't okay? even think that is. Oh yeah, I'm just coughing. Sorry. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't think it necessarily is pinning him as sincere. I do know these kinds of people who like just always do wrong, and then are always like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Yes, I've been caught and all this stuff. Yeah. But it's like he's been caught in like twelve of his wrong actions. It's like it might be sincere, but it's just because like someone's saying it's something someone, yeah, right now. Saw right. him. You You're know, right. like. You know, yep. those people who just, like, say a bunch of racist stuff, or, like, not, like, heavy-handed racist, but, like, not okay stuff, and then you call them out on them, they're like, like, oh, my God, God I had I no didn't... idea. Yeah. And it's yeah, like, yeah. yes, no, you did have an idea, did. because there's a constant trend in the way you talk, and you know exactly the message you're sending. Mm -hmm. So, like, shut up with your apologies. I don't care if you're sad right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. anyway. there's definitely a lot of that. Wow. Exactly I got very, I it. got super scathing there, sorry. <laughs> no, <laughs> please, go this off. This man sort of <laughs> asked for it. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. It was a loose end, and you are tiny tat now. I'm so fucking sorry I called you yellow man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I <can't laughs> see how I Shut officers up. commanded the suzerain's navy. Most of them sided with the king when... You He's were not exactly a whole that person. Too. Yeah, like... Suddenly. There there's yeah. no way in hell he's learning this lesson for the first time in front of our eyes. No, like, it's not. You know. <laughs> yes. yeah. This is not the Absolutely. first time he's ever... Yeah, you yeah. know, 100%. This uh, is not his big, beautiful moment of change. Like, that's no. so foolish to consider. <laughs> Although it is God. funny that this is happening in front of his friend and colleague, because that, that could actually force him to change down the okay. line. That's yeah. actually really true. That's a really good point. Potentially, yeah. 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 It's difficult to say what the lieutenant thinks of this historic apology. His face does not belie emotions. Why'd you lie to me, Gary? Because yeah, give me the armor, me. damn it. I should have told you the moment I saw you, but 
The hell, Gary? You in trouble? Have you? Well, have maybe you Morel hasn't actually Morel? listened. Yeah, exactly. Maybe yeah, maybe Morel, Morel doesn't listen. know. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Morel's <laughs> staring at the ground, hoping a stick bug will appear. God damn it, Morel! <laughs> I'll explain later. Give me the armor. He sighs again. Thank you. Hands his head and unbuttons his shirt fully. A cuirass that matches the dead man's boots comes into view. Soon, it is in your hands, smelling of his sweat. Do you know who killed the Chris. hangman? I always thought it was the Union. Some Union hard asses lynched him because of the strike. But almost everyone in town knows that. I wish I could tell you more. He shakes his head. This is all he knows. All right. Are we done Do here, Gary? Do you think <laughs> Gary introduces himself as, Hi, I'm Gary, the crypto fashion. <laughs> He must, because we got think, that information from somewhere. Yeah, you think that's a title he gave himself? Maybe he just or, exudes it from his I pores. was going to say, he just starts speaking and it drips from his, like, existence. Yeah. And you're like, ugh, yeah. <laughs> I also it, like how uh, uh, Harry is addressing him as Gary. Like, constantly like, come on, Gary. Why'd you lie to me, Gary? Yeah, what's going on? It's <laughs> true. <done> you, Gary? <laughs> You're right. I, I really appreciate that. <laughs> like, we're not taking your shit. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Yes, absolutely. I will never do anything like this again. Yep. Do we want like to ask any of the you. rest of this stuff? Uh, I mean, he's kind of... Are, are you a cryptozoologist, too? I guess we could ask that. Not that I care, but... No, uh. no. I help Morel with research sometimes. And I've learned some things along the way, but I don't usually go in for picnics like this on my own. Live nearby. Sure do. His eyes narrow slightly. He's wondering where this is going. Nowhere. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um. Nowhere. Although I do now worry that we gave the key and these and uh, the cryptozoologist couple is staying with him. Oh, wait, say that again? I didn't quite understand what you meant. So we, oh. we unlocked his door in order mm -hmm. to show that we have power over him because of the union. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the cryptozoologist couple is staying with him. Mm -hmm. And now mm -hmm. I worry about that. I don't worry about him, like, whatever. But um, <sighs> but knowing that Lena and Morel are staying with him makes me a little concerned. Yeah, I don't know if I want to, like, you know, allude to the fact that we did that here for that reason because they're staying with them yeah and i don't really want to endanger them i'm gonna move on i'm not of gonna course. okay okay i like i don't get me wrong we had that thought and it might come back but i i just don't want to that's fair i i'd prefer to like go check the traps now or something yeah 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 that makes sense um do we want to keep going or do we want to take a break what are you guys feeling i guess oh uh, not... we should probably take our break yeah, I'm cool either way. Yeah, we that can sounds good. Play a little more, or we can uh, take like a quick five minute break and come yeah, back and start looking for traps. Let's do a quick five here. We're a little over an hour and a half in. I think that makes sure. sense. All right. Cool. Then uh, we will see you all in just a little bit. Go get, get some good water. Snacks. Take a stretch. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Run to the bathroom, get some water, take a little break. All those things. All right. See you in a bit. Bye. Welcome back, y'all. Hope you had a good break. Welcome back. It was a good break. I ate a what bunch are of your snacks. There's I, some, you ate. There's something I, about the way you said that, Allison. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> this is very sweet. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I have dark chocolate almonds from Trader Joe's. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't expect I love to those. talk. Looks Always. Like <laughs> so sorry. It's okay. I'm Same so wiring. sorry. I keep forgetting that. The, the low voice, actually. I just wanted to cue it up. I'm so sorry. It's Chocolate okay. almonds, Allison. That's all oh, I got all, done. And I had a those piece. Those almonds are amazing. They're amazing. They're the sea salt and turbinado sugar yeah. dark chocolate Ooh. almonds from Trader Joe's. Highly recommend. They're my, I don't know, my vice. They're amazing. I also had one stick of matcha pocky and one stick of regular chocolate pocky, and it was great. That also oh, like sounds quite count. nice. But, yeah. but such yeah. restraint. How can you open a Pocky and only one. have one? <laughs> like shocking restraint. Right? Oh no, I had two almonds. <laughs> <I don't think. laughs> yeah, you're right. That I counters snack. it. <laughs> <laughs> I snack in the smallest little in intervals. <laughs> <laughs>
What about you guys? Do you have snacks? Uh, I've just got some more tea. Very nice. Excellent. I've been I've been really into veggie sticks lately. Ooh. Um, yeah. The like the, the puffy, crunchy ones. Yeah, the cruffy, punchy ones. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that. <laughs> Excellent. I don't <laughs> think I've had style. those, but that kind of sounds good. If they're like veggie chips, I'm imagining. They're yeah, super they're... good, and the ones I'm having are white cheddar flavor, so they're Ooh. Even better. Yeah. Delicious. Ooh, that sounds real good. They're the ones that are like with the hole in the middle, right? Is yeah, that what I'm thinking yeah, of? Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, a yeah. straw, veggie straws. Yes. Yeah. See, my snacks here, I have kettle chips here, but I was led astray by by someone, uh, by Pro Z D, uh, because I watched his kettle chip review and he talked about how good the pickle kettle chips are. They're far too sour for me. I don't like them oh, at I, all. Wow. I love really? Them. Yeah, they're so sour. You- you should maybe try Trader Joe's has a dill pickle flavored popcorn. Yes, I was very, just about to say that. They're yes. really good, and it's a subtle dill. I so might, might like that because I like I like the idea of pickle chips, and I think I've liked pickle chips in the past, but the the kettle chips ones are are way too much. <laughs> Have that you tried is... the Maui onion? I haven't. No. Ooh, oh, yeah. Sweet Maui it... onion kettle chips are insane. So they're great. so good. Yeah, you will eat the entire bag. I swear to oh, God. Yeah. Oh yeah, I will keep that in mind. That done. may be my next snack. Oh, <laughs> this is it's our snack, snack. Our snack corner. Snack corner is a beautiful corner. <laughs> Brought to you by Trader oh, Joe's. <laughs> Clark and I, Clark and I, got our groceries for the very first time today, um, mm-hmm. and, and we were like ten blocks down, and we were walking, um, and on the way back, one of the bags broke. And this is like the essential groceries. This is like all of the no. sugar and the olive oil and the Crisco and the salt and pepper. It's like all that. So the bag breaks and the bags are so heavy because we bought so much food to <laughs> fill this house. And so it, it just the worst walk back. We kept making eye contact with each other being like, oh, it could just not be worse. <laughs> did any of it break? Like, were you still able to, to get it all back? Or did you have, like, a I, broken up? We got it all oil? back. I wow. just, like, my arms are still sore. Because it was me, wow. like, balancing everything on oh my, my God. arm while holding a second bat. It was just awful. That sounds like like you just had a... a- like a quintessential New York City experience where yeah. you were walking back home with your bag of groceries and it broke and it was all the heavy shit and you had to Oh go. yeah. Just like... Everyone's walking around you and you're like, you guys don't know how hard my day is. Isn't that literally <laughs> the plot of ordinary days? Like <laughs> <laughs> almost. Yeah. Actually almost. <laughs> yeah, I think that's almost the plot of ordinary days. Did I definitely recommend reusable bags. That's dirty. Too. Well, it was a reusable bag. Oh, what? Really? I know the reusable bag, the handle like ripped off. Um, and there's there were, like string everywhere. Then you were Got doing it. everything right, I think. I think we can all agree that you were doing everything right. Yeah, it was just a bummer. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> but I guess it you got very... a brief arm workout in. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, th- that was the other problem. I had just worked out for my first time in the city, too. Oh, so I was so no. tired. Uh, I was sleepy and tired, and my arms <gasps> already hurt. Oh. Uh, no. Uh, I'm very sorry. <laughs> poor little lad. <laughs> oh. I'm just a little lad in the big city, and I'm yeah. just trying to make my way. <laughs> 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 I also heard that if you get on the wrong bridge, it's like twenty extra dollars. Oh, it was so upsetting. Da- oh, no. Dad was in town for one day to help because we drove here. So he drove with me, and then he had the car for like the whole first half of the day, and it was great because I could go to like Target and I could go to Best Buy and I could go everywhere I needed to go and have a car because I don't have a car in the city. Um, and we were driving to Target and we took one, like it was a hard right, but we did a slight right. And it took uh-huh. us into New Jersey and made us pay a $20 <laughs> pay toll and added 23 minutes. And we were like, this is awful. Why did I move here? Why would this be a thing? Who did this design? It was like a dollar a minute that you spent in New Jersey. <laughs> From the moment I said, I don't know, take that one because I didn't look like hard enough. They started enough. charging you. <laughs> oh god that's they're so disincentivizing funny. you from going into jersey <laughs> uh, oh my god it's true it's true and leaving new jersey is the most expensive thing because everywhere is like we know you want to get out sorry to anybody who's from new jersey on this stream but i don't love your just, state yeah it just f- 
recently hurt short, so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're dealing with the fallout. Oh my god, my car got stuck in New Jersey one time. Did, do you remember that, Gina? I do remember I lost that, my yeah. Car. This one. Oh my god, I to make a very long story short, I was driving to New Jersey and then training into New York, and I lost my key in Penn Station, <laughs> so I trained out to New Jersey to get into the car, and I had no key, and it was not good. <laughs> Terrible. It wasn't good. No one was happy. <laughs> Boy. You had I had people depending on me. Honest. It was bad. Oh. Wild. <laughs> uh anyway. So. Anyway. Well, I don't I don't have any Jersey stories. I, I stayed I in Jersey either. once and took the ferry to go to Manhattan. That's a I, great story, Alice. That seems like a positive New Jersey experience. I'd call that perfectly neutral. Well, I, yeah, it, it gave me a place to stay, I guess. Yeah. I'm proud of you. I'm glad. Thanks, Jersey. <laughs> we'll look around at this trap real quick. Okay, Behind yeah. You, the ruins of a residential building loom over the reeds. They whisper amongst themselves. Confidentially, snowflakes cling to their shivering stems. Reach for the trap. Locusts are yeah. crawling around in the trap, confused but uneaten. You see no carnivorous reed phasmid gorging on them. Big surprise. Anyway, one down, three to go. No need to be grin. Uh, no need to grin. I'm not expecting to find anything. I'm helping some citizens um, and getting some fresh air. I think that one's. Either that or damn, I was hoping it would be the first one. <laughs> yeah, that, I guess that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> no, we weren't. He looks at the what? sea, then you, layering the, laying the trap back down on the ground. Okay. okay All right, that's Kim. one. <laughs> All right. Um, this is the one by the boathouse. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Money. Ooh, money. Yeah. Right. Oh, don't forget, we have a slip from the racist that we can use to uh, get lots of money. That is true. We have to go back to the, the city proper for that. Yeah. I wish you would run sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kurt. <laughs> we, we don't want to go back to city proper right now anyway. We're looking for nah, traps. I, I so. figured we'd just go ahead and do the traps thing if everyone's okay with that. Because totally. Because I feel like we're going to forget that one. I would eventually like to go dance with somebody too. Okay. Uh, I don't want to forget about that today. We got another we're... fallen. We got a fallen hat. Awesome. Is that our full? Ooh, do we have the nice. full fallen The fallen set? peepo hat? Is that what it said? Yeah, that is what it Wait, said. can we check? <laughs> Wait a sec, a new hat? <laughs> Finally. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Finally, yes. I don't have to wear this anymore. That's Yay! big. Thank God. <laughs> Minus one perception, but then. Okay. I don't care. <laughs> it's, yeah. I've hated every second I had to wear that hat. God. Yeah, we were talking about that like with friends last we week. Were. Yeah. <laughs> Get this hat off of us. Thank God. Yay. <laughs> what is our. What are we. What is going on here? Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't see the mouse, so I just see uh, his head just like wee 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 wee, like okay. like <laughs> swivel Sorry, back and forth. I'm just realizing we're stuck in a little. Uh, th that's fine. We found a bunch of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Mission accomplished, I suppose. You just gotta go back. Is that yeah. mural anything or no? No. Nah. A scattering of bullet holes is spread across the cracked wall, reaching from one corner to the other. Look, Kim. Even more bullet holes. Something's definitely gone down here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Correct. The density of the bullet holes is unusual. Even in a general average bullet hole frequency in Martinez sense. Grim affairs. Meaning this mm. is a lot of bullet holes. Looks like fully automatic rifle fire. Whoa. Something you don't see these days. Why not? The manufacturing yeah. and sale of automatic rifles was curtailed after the revolution. The destructive power of such tools proved to be too much. We do need to retain some humanity in this world. Thank you, Kim. All right, should we try this? Anything we can shot. add to? Oh, uh, visual Anything calculus. We add to it or no? Yeah, I can. I can add to visual calculus. Give yeah, me real yeah, quick. Okay, perfect. Yeah, if we can get it over awesome. fifty, that would be great. Yeah, and we, we have a lot of to pluses to it already, though, which is interesting. Um, I guess from other bullet holes we have examined, I didn't actually see what all of those were for. Uh, yeah, I think it was other bullet holes we've examined. Got for it. For the most part. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, we got Sorry, our Sorry, I know this takes a lot of time. No, Every no, time no. I have to look. All good. Please do it, because uh, you, it doesn't. You have to hover over it to look. Mm -hmm. Um. And I don't remember what does what. Is it just the glasses? 
Yeah, I just now have to see if there's anything I have equipped that. Oh, taking away. It. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, cool. A scattering of bullet holes is spread that across the cracked wall. It, but but I, I did it. Ten percent. It increased. Oh, did That's... it? I thought it was fifty-eight before. No, it was, it was 48. under fifty-eight. Oh, I said yeah. that to get it over fifty. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Sorry, my bad. Uh, no, all, all right, good. Let's do it. All right. Unable yeah. to piece Fuck. together the big picture just well, now. Well, that sucks. There's a hole in the hypothesis. <sighs> oh, okay. Fine, okay. Of holes. Look. I mean, I can pump it up if we want, but I feel like we should save that. Oh, we have two points. Do you want me to oh. use one? Oh, yeah, use one. Yeah. Point. To, uh... Do we need anything? Do we need um, these for anything else? Oh, I mean, we, I think we wanted to do. Um... What did, what did we I need to, do? to internalize? Wasn't there something I needed to inter internalize? Oh, it's like the uh, yeah, it's the it's like the the important one. Um, <laughs> sorry, I know that's not helpful. Um, <laughs> I don't uh, remember this. Which one is this? Is it? Lo Ouch. Yeah, I don't I don't remember which one it is. Um, um, it like literally uh, is like you need to. Th it, it it presented itself as you need to think about this. Um, what is it? Wompty Dumpty Dom Center? No. Jamais Vu? Is it this one? Da, 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 after name of, uh, yeah. Was it this one? I think it Is it this one? This feels like the, the most, most important, important of all, of all thoughts. Yeah, this, is, <laughs> this one, the one you truly must complete. Yeah, I was like, there was one that was like, I had to do it, right? Yeah, uh, this one then. Yeah, but the only option was to unlock. I need to unlock a new slot, which is what we needed. Right. That's why we were, we were saving the. Yes. Yeah. Let's just do that. Should I we think do we, that? we said we were going to do that, so we should. Okay. Yeah. I think so. Yep. That's both of our points. Oh, that was two points. Yep. Yeah, because uh, to unlock the slot and one to start the thought. Yeah. Yep. Okay. It's done. That's fine. I mean, we'll just. We had to do it eventually. Yeah. We did. Well, honestly, like, we can try again on that mural. Totally. With the holes. And, and yeah. like, the other thing I, I, we'd said before we were going to do, so there's no reason not to now. That's true. Yeah. Okay, that's um, the, the last trap we need to look at. Sorry, getting here is weird, so I just need to make sure I remember how to get here, but I, I, I think I'm good. Because yeah, no worries. the father and son are right there. Um, okay, so the second trap is above the church. Yeah, by the radio tower? I think that's a different one, but I could be oh, wrong. Oh. I think that's the third one. I thought those were the same ones. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, and then there was another one... Uh, he said to, the, oh, is that, is this one to the northwest? I guess we're going, or northeast? We're going to the this northeast This is the northeast right one, yeah. Okay. That we're going to right now. Then one, I think, is closer to the, the, um, bridge. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Can you get over there that? Is, okay, is. cool. Right Perfect. Perfect. A familiar apparatus lies among the reeds. Another one of Morel's traps, weighed right. down by stones to keep it in place. The reeds sway in the coastal breeze. They seem to be waiting for something. The wind picks up here, near the cape's end, surrounding the narrow strip of land from three cardinal directions. It's cold for this time of year. This trap is also full of panicked locusts. No sign of any cryptozoological beast inside. Another Shocker. empty trap. Damn. Lieutenant takes a note <sighs> more out of habit than duty. Let's keep going. The next one is the lucky one. How That's are you enjoying the one. cardio, Lieutenant? I'm <laughs> quite enjoying it myself. I want to make it clear. I want to make it clear that I don't actually believe in the fast that exists. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't say that so concretely. No. Yeah, I, I have a funny same. feeling we're gonna find something. Maybe not a fast yeah. but like yeah. Could be Something. wrong. Um, 
I guess next one's going to be the lucky one. He's going to yeah. be like, sure, officer. The next one has a crab trapped in it. <laughs> These are just crab traps. You do realize? Yep. Yes. <laughs> yep, yes, we, we do. <laughs> when I said we'd find something, we could find a super cool crab, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Crabs are cool. Crabs are cool. Mm hmm. Oh. Cigarette butts cleaned Cigarette away butts. under the rocks. Brand to a tree. You take a oh. mental note. Seems Whoa, important seems somehow. important somehow? Interesting. Oh. Anything? Oh, yeah, here's the tower. Okay, that's the you tower. Right, awesome. Yep, okay, cool. Apologies. Cool, cool, cool. No worries. We are definitely a gay superstar communist cop. A yes. thousand percent. That yes, is, that we is are. Correct. We have definitely internalized that. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we've internalized. That's all we know about ourselves. <laughs> and that we can't open this oh door. <laughs> This oh my gosh, fucking door. I was just watching with Clark earlier today, Gina. There's this show on HBO called I'm Here, I think. We're Here, which is basically Queer Eye, but with drag queens. Oh. Very fun. Ooh. It's on, very it's on fun. HBO? It's on HBO, yeah. That I'll sounds that fun. It's, so very it's like, sweet. Like, like queens helping other queens, essentially. No, it's like all kinds of people. So in the episode I oh. saw, they took three people. One was, um, she's a, a lesbian woman and a tattoo artist. And she's trying to just like feel herself basically. Um, one was really? like a, a guy who identified as, as gay at the first time of talking, but then they came back after COVID and uh, uh, um, they identified as they them and were like, way more open and out than before and put on like a big drag show that allowed them to be as like basically as outrageous as humanly possible and then the third was like an old i don't want to say redneck that seems rude but like like a very southern guy whose brother came out and was a drag queen and who was doing a full routine with his brother and it was just like very very lovely it was such a fun episode like all kinds of people wanting this to do drag for so very different reasons sorry how dare you <laughs> that sounds sorry. very good that does sound he's very good cute. he's just cute and i think drag is so fun so yeah. it's, fun. it's a good time that sounds really lovely. I have to look That's into it. That. That's my whole story. I'm no, not going I, anywhere. No, I, no, I thank appreciate you. it. I will definitely check that out. That sounds mm -hmm. genuinely just really nice. Like, it just yeah. sounds really nice. It's nice to watch. Watching that and Ted Lasso. So, like, we're really trying Which to have good vibes nice. in the house right now. Yeah. I, I really like Ted Lasso. I've, I've I love everything it. about Ted Lasso. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, look around, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah. The reeds yeah. bend forlornly toward the sand. Some tufts have been crushed. Snow covers the broken stalks like a shroud. In the east, the city center hums to you. The constant, distant song. Louder on this part of the coast. Nearer somehow. And there's that cold again. Always the cold. Nothing but locusts in this trap as well. Definitely no cryptozoological monstrosity. What do you have to say, Cam? Empty as all of them. Yeah. One more of these and we're done. His mm -hmm. face is red from the cold sea air. He crouches to That's catch his fair. breath. You getting tired? I must stress that I don't expect. Okay. Are you getting tired? You getting tired? I, I don't know. No, no, yeah. I'm fine. I didn't mean to complain. It's just. He short winded. The sentence ends there. I'm so sorry, Cam. I feel oh, bad Cam, now. Oh, Cam. I'm sorry. Ahead, decades yeah. of concrete defenses. Children play on them now. Huh. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember where uh, the last one is. It's it's where we started. They oh, us about okay. A um, um, so okay. Cool, cool, back cool. we go. Back, Yay. back, back. Yay! I I have a feeling I'm probably not gonna find the ghost bug. Probably but not. I think was, that's a valid feeling. It was but a I good wanna. attempt. <sighs> I know. Should I look up where the ghost Something bug is, guys? Really Should I get up? Yeah. We're going to yeah. use a guide for the ghost bug. I did. <laughs> <laughs> what if the ghost bug has been with us all along and we just didn't know it because they were so well hidden? Look, it's possible, but we're covered in pheromones, so I feel like if they are with us, then we just need them to love us enough <laughs> oh that's right we did get sprayed with pheromones yeah. thick <laughs> we are a super smelly 
bug boy, and I think we need our, our bug to acknowledge that. Bush I bug this is the last boy. of the traps. The one Morel just set. Chicken it over. He said is just a technicality. Mm? Is it going to have it? By the abandoned campsite, sway and tremble while the snow falls all around. The later it gets, the colder. Remnants of the camp can still be seen in the sand. The fire that's gone out. You feel strange somehow. Oh, thanks, Shivers. And silent as you pick it up. Something is different here. A little closer. What? No locusts. <gasps> no locusts. No what? Phasmid either. But still. Oh. Immediately, yell, it's empty. Morel didn't leave it empty. Look closer. That one, still. that one, that one. Well, oh, look closer, still. Yeah. on something. This doesn't mean it was a reed monster, though. Unless you see one in there, I just see an empty trap. Isn't it supposed to? It tricks our eyes. Close the right. trap. Right. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Is a little untidy. Messier than the others. Like someone or something picked the trap up and shook it before dropping it back down on the ground. Actually, I do get the feeling that someone or something may have messed with the trap. Mm -hmm. uh, but what if it was a phasmid? What if it ate them and got out? Yeah, it probably wasn't the phasmid. But still, Morel needs to know. You're right. But they still need to know. Yeah. You're right. The crypto research has been stupid. Uh, number one, yeah. I feel like. Yeah. Perhaps our cryptozoologists have competition in the form of an actual entomologist. Or someone else <laughs> is sabotaging them. I could present more theories, but then I would That's be a taking this theory. on as a case, which I'm not. <laughs> which I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but what if it was the phasmid? Uh... Uh, you're right, but they still need to know, I guess, that one. But what if it was the phasmid and it ate and got out? I don't know. <laughs> Hopeful. Yeah, I mean, I, don't know. I, I feel like he's the wrong audience for this. Yeah, I, was, I agree. I kind of want to say you're right, but they still need to know. Okay, but after that, we get back to our own assignments. There is no justification for this detour at this point of our investigation. We have a lot of work to do back in town. Okay, okay Kim. Sorry. I need to go inspect the, Okay. I feel like the bug is here. The bug's got to be here. The, the buoy? That you yeah. looked at, right? Yeah. Yeah, where keep... it was like something oh, was off. Oh, yeah. yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. But nothing's That's... showing up on my, my ping map, so I'm just trying to Not figure anymore. it out. Not anymore. Oh. That's spooky. I wonder okay. if we investigate around a little more. Maybe there's some... Maybe it moved? I don't know. I also got to say, I love the way the snow looks in this game. Yeah. It it's very really realistic. Nice. It's really nice. It really does feel like I'm looking down at them walking around in the snow. Mm -hmm. um, what if you check the other traps, actually? What if it's moving? You've checked all the traps now. Damn, There's no. nothing else to I think do. we just need to go report. We just need to go report I it. just, I just had a... F I don't know. They, no, they the buoy is a good point. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was... Yeah, cause it, cause you're right. It tricks your eye. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm freaked out by the ghost bug a little bit. I want to know more. <laughs> I feel like it's got to be around somewhere. Yeah, nearby. I agree. Yeah. Do we want to go dance or attempt to, and then go back and report about the the trap? Yep. Yeah, totally. Hell yeah. I'm ready to dance. Let's do it. That's, well, I'm I'm ready to be told that I cannot dance. Yes, that, that's gonna happen. Let's that's aim that's appropriately. True. <laughs> they say cats don't dance. Kurtz really don't dance. Kurtz really don't dance. <laughs> no, neither does Ar Andre or whatever. Yeah, but he <laughs> yeah. look, he's given it his all, and I do I respect that. <laughs> yes, he's really oh, trying. It's good to see you. <sighs> Wait, we got we got we got Saverfair glasses. You could throw those on real quick and bump that up by Goodbye, two percent. <laughs> Goodbye. Not sure. I'm not sure. We'll You're right. Look, two percent is something. It they did they did we did get something for savoir faire, right? Savoir. Yeah, they're there. Savoir. Beautiful, okay. looking great, looking hot. Great, oh, looking hi, awesome. It's good to see you. Yeah, that's what nothing. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, that's such a bummer. <sighs> okay, let's try it. Let's do it. Let's let's, let's do it. You close your eyes <gasps> and dream of the shape your body should form out. to bring the strange music into life. For now, such ferocity of motion is beyond you. But just imagine the moves you could pull. 
Capture this futuristic. Oh beat. dang, we just don't have a Goodbye. build for this. Yeah, there's no way. Man. I have so really bad news. That. It's just that there's uh, unless they give us a huge boost in points somewhere, like we just discover the meaning of life and it gives us plus fifty there. I I don't know. Yeah. Because uh, we rolled two fives. We wait, oh, we rolled two, two fives? fives. Yeah. Like oh. that's not that's just not gonna happen. Like. <sighs> I was happy Man. to give it a shot, but that was not going to happen. Oh, damn. That sucks. Mm -hmm. I guess we got to We have to roll like a five and a six or two sixes. We need to roll two sixes. I don't think a five and a six would do it. Five and a six won't do it. Uh, fuck. Mm -hmm. If it's 3%, no. Yeah. God. Yeah. And that's Man. with all of our our gear on, so it's it's just it, it's rough. You need a nat you it's a nat twenty only. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's great all to right. see you again, officer. Hello. My wife can't wait to thank you. Go on, talk to her. Oh, okay. okay yes. Hi. Oh, sweetie, I don't even know how to thank you for finding my husband and helping him out. I hope we haven't been too much trouble for you. Just doing my job, ma'am. It was truly an epic long distance trek. It was just on my way while I was working the case. I'm basically also a cryptozoologist now. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, true. Just doing just doing my job, ma'am. Just I doing guess. my job, yeah. ma'am. Here, yeah. I want to give you a small token of my gratitude. It's a tie. Mesk in origin. The pin is an antique. Quite special. Oh. The little silvery knob holding the tie together feels warm in your hand. Oh, wow. It's in the shape of an avian skull with eight eyes. Ooh, interesting. Oh. You never told me you've seen the plasmid. Maybe you could convince her to tell you about some cool cryptids? Sure. I mean, it's 97%, so yes. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just amused by what the well i'm gonna ask this one first but the yeah i, I like how has the green eight pen is one it just makes me smile <laughs> yeah, it's oh, really uh, funny. you don't want to hear about some uh. old woman's ramblings ramblings nonsense your description of the phasmid is the most precise i've ever heard they but like each I other get the size of it right you were a child my dear really it's extraordinary what you were able to describe now go on Tell our friend about it. He's proven his interest in the field. <laughs> I reluctantly like these two, I think. <laughs> but which I mean, I like Lena like a lot, a lot. And Morell yeah. is growing on me. He keeps bad I, company, but he does crack me up. He does keep bad company. Yes, but agreed. It's the only company that'll help him find this cryptid. This bug. Clearly. True, true. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Reflexively, the lieutenant read his, his familiar notebook. Well, nice, nice. it was summer. I was building a racing track out of sand on the beach near a tall stand of reeds. Quite a tall one. Many times my height, I remember. When, all of a sudden... Wait, where was this and how old were you? Ah, I'm getting ahead of myself. I was five and a half in Betancourt in the suburbs. My grandmother had a summer home there. She'd just started forming memories. Real memories. Not the billowy haze of infanthood. What happened? The strangest mm -hmm. moment of my life. I looked up and one of the reeds moved. Not like a plant, but like a living thing. It stood up and looked at me. Its body unfolded like some antique toy. I've never seen anything like it. I didn't Whoa. know this can happen, so I reached my arm and touched the thing. It felt just like a stalk of reed, but it moved, swaying, towering above me. After a while, 20 seconds, a minute maybe, it left, went into the reeds. Did you follow it? I tried, but I was only a child. There was mud and high water. I couldn't see it anymore. I was just standing there, knee deep in mud, looking around me. Where did you go? Don't go. <laughs> Inland Empire. Oh, oh. Then, what? then what? I ran back home to my grandmother and asked her if reeds could walk and told her they were looking at me. <laughs> of course, she just laughed at me, but I knew what I'd seen. 
For years, it was a story I told at parties when I wanted to impress boys. That sort of thing. <laughs> of course, most people just took it as a strange, amusing anecdote. So did I, honestly. But then I met Morel. It's a really weird party story. Like, yeah. It, it, you know, I found her, her husband. Um, so yeah, it, it ultimately worked. <laughs> yeah. That's true. <laughs> we were oh, on a date. Can you imagine? She tells me a story, and it's the most detailed report of the Insulindian phasmid I've ever heard. The sounds. She told me it hissed. So that's how they met. This is beyond significant for them. This is it so is. cute. Mm -hmm. Like reeds in a gust of wind. It, it is cute. <laughs> it's really cute. It's, it's, it's like weird, but it's very cute. It's really odd, but it's cute. Yeah. yeah. We like when people fall for our same niches. Yeah. Yeah, I think the thing exactly. that makes me happiest is that they were already on a date when this came up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's like, it's not like this is the one thing that, that, like they found each other, but they learned it about each other as they were getting to know each other and realized that they, they shared interests. And I just think that's exactly. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's really neat. The way oh. it moved, the color, how some of its limbs were white, like marble. It matched perfectly with what I know from other accounts. It was amazing. If it weren't for Lena, I might have given up hope years ago. It's no exaggeration to say that she restored my faith in my profession. Okay. Uh, you were on a date? Yeah, you were on a date? Uh, first, yes. Okay. All right, the yeah. The woman right. looks well, at her well, husband well, tenderly. Easy. The glance is tender, oh. yes, but tempered by something else. A thought she can't express, even to him. Interesting. Okay. Huh. The limbs are white? white? Not all of them. There is some white coloration reported, along with beige, where the camouflage ends. I think I think the huh. feeling that she was getting at is kind of sorry. I, I wasn't articulating myself well before. I think I I've been anxious this whole time ever since we found out that she knew she had seen the bug. That like that was the foundation of mm -hmm. how they got together. That like he was interested in her because she believed him. Yeah, but also yeah. like she she renewed his faith and stuff like that which like seems to be the, the case i almost thought she might have lied about it to like get his interest and then it became it like spun out of control oh, wow. uh, okay. it seems like it that's not what happened but like i've been wondering about that this whole time and it seems like there's a maybe some doubt in her as well i mean they've been together for ages so yeah like that's yeah, good that's that's interesting yeah uh, so that to your point about the about her mentioning that after they already were in the middle of their first date. Yeah. yeah it's like, but I, she I, makes us look like maybe does she regret saying that? Like, or I don't like know. if she had held off on saying that, could they have gotten to know each other outside? Like, is this a thing that's hovering over them? Yeah. yeah. Like this obsession. Yeah. I don't know. And like, yeah. maybe it's a good, like maybe it's been good for them. It is his profession. I don't know. But like, and they're both like super interested in it. I mean, she's worked on the traps. She made the traps. Yeah. yeah clearly she cares a lot. Yeah. So. To be clear, I'm not, I'm not knocking that. It's more just like, it seems like that might be something that hangs over them a little bit. Like the question maybe. of would they have gotten together if it wasn't for the, the bug. Basmid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how, how big was it? It's mm -hmm. hard to say how big things are when you're quite small yourself. To me, it seemed to be taller than I was then, but that's probably not the case. Hmm. Both of these are not. Kim. <laughs> Kim, what are your thoughts? You're going to be like, what do you think? it's great that they are in love. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it was a wonderful story. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's what great. Give a very simple smile. A child left unattended on a warm day. Children make up stories and then end up believing them. Thank you for sharing it with me. You're welcome, Thank you for sweetie. Sharing. I do appreciate the chance to relive it whenever I get one. It was just... Such an impossibly sunshiny day. So Aww. warm. And she could okay, get that's up really sweet. right hmm. into the reeds on her own. Into the mud. Anywhere. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Mm. Yeah. I guess let's try this. There's really no yeah. point in manipulating anyone. She'd be only too pleased to tell you about her work. Go on and ask. Hey, Lena, uh -huh. I'd like to hear about some cryptids you've studied. 
Do you tell me about a couple of them? Oh, yeah. I'd be delighted. Truth be told, I could really use the company too. One cryptid, Aww. not a couple. One. <laughs> okay, one okay, Kim. Kind of cryptid extravaganza. <laughs> okay, Kim. Just yeah. one little cryptid. I promise. <laughs> pull our, pull our reins in. Yeah. <laughs> not a seems a waiting posture. Ooh, tough choice there. Wow. Is this Ooh. bird a cryptid? What's the biggest cryptid? What's the Ooh, tiniest yes. cryptid? What's the most dangerous cryptid? Is that a cryptid on this pin that you gave me? Are there any invisible cryptids? This has been educational. Oh, this. oh wait, what bird? The tie she gave Let's you? Yeah, the tie. The tie has a has a bird pin on it, and the pin has oh, a green right. egg on it. That's right. That's right. Um, let's do top to bottom. Yeah, let's start at the top and no. go through. It's the cryptid. Ooh, wow, <gasps> the cryptid. The cryptid. Oh <gasps> yes. The small silvery skull shines between your fingers. Its beak sharp. Ooh. Okay, what is this bird? The eight-eyed teratorn, the largest flying avian ever discovered, with a wingspan of eleven point five meters. What the it fuck? Thought to have gone extinct 3,500 years ago. Some even doubted the fossils were real. A mutation, they said. Until. So it's like a rock? Whoa, yeah. With eight, eight eyes. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> All of evolution is a mutation. Until? <laughs> Until it was sighted by renowned Gottwaldian explorer and naturalist Uwe Plattenkalk in 21. Plattenkalk. Is a great Plattenkalk. name. Yeah. I need to hear about this sighting. Yeah. It happened on a botanical expedition into the vast and unexplored Oamrau Canyon in southeast Ilmara. Dr. Plattenkalk got separated from his group during a sandstorm. Okay, and Umarau is... Uh, uh, the world's I mean, largest yeah. canyon system, sweetie. It's a barren waste east of the Erg Desert. An ancient riverbed completely dried up. What happened? What happened? Alone yeah. in the blasted desert heat, the doctor wandered eastward, where man hasn't stepped foot in over a thousand years. Since the fall of Pericarnassus, he was lost without any navigation equipment and desperately low on water. After a day or two, he noticed a bird high in the noon sky. A great black bird, it seemed gargantuan. Every oh. now and then, the bird would dive down to feed on an animal carcass somewhere on the horizon. But by the time Uva got there, the Teratorn had taken off already, and the carcass was picked clean. This happened many times. It followed him? Yeah. yeah. More like he followed it. A bird that big has many liters of blood in it, and he was dying of thirst. For many days, Dr. Plottenkalk followed the Teratorn until they reached a great canyon wall where the bird finally landed to rest. The professor climbed up there with a rock in his hand. He found the bird sleeping with his head tucked under its wing, a great black pile of feathers on the perch. So he approached, slowly squeezing the rock in his fist. Then the Teratorn suddenly looked at him. He could see it had eight eyes, four on either side of its skull, like a spider. And the man couldn't move. He was paralyzed, frozen into place with the rock in his hand. Whatever he did, he could not get closer to the bird. That would be really scary. That would be That'd really be scary. Yeah. Also, is this man, this man is dying of thirst. Like, this could yeah, also very well be a hallucination. Yeah, so. yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no... It's worth noting that every time somebody cited one of these things, they were either very young, very inco like very compromised, very. But also, this world may have magic, so it's one of those things, right? Very true. It's, I'm all, it's I'm... really hard to know. Yeah, oh. that, and yes. I think that's why they wanted to play with this. Is they have this like very, very, very lightly mystical world. And that means they can play with our like assumptions of like, well, this is maybe bullshit, but maybe not. Yeah, exactly. We don't know. Like a world that maybe had magic in it, but it doesn't anymore. But there's like maybe little remnants of it, but but we're not really sure. Yeah, but we're just not yeah. really sure. Yeah, yeah. Like we and we almost tore a, happens, a church down it... earlier today. So like you know we don't know. 
Yeah, true. Mm. Mm. I guess Bird that. was controlling his mind. It kept him from approaching. He could step back, but every time he stepped forward, paralysis. Uva oh. spent three days trying until the bird flew away. Yeah, yeah, wait, there's a lot of questions here. Yeah, how did, wait, how, how did he survive to tell this story? Yeah. <laughs> this is about to be a long conversation, wow. Yeah. <laughs> the eight-eyed Teratorn was indifferent to him, as long as he didn't get closer than two steps. It even let him feed on some carcasses up there, and the two unfertilized eggs it left behind. Okay. That is oh. an explanation for what it's worth. <laughs> yeah, I guess if there's other stuff in there to eat and drink, then I guess he did that. A eight-eyed mind-controlling bird. Fuck yes. We have fuck yes, <laughs> fuck come yes. on, no way. I kind of like fuck yes, if I'm being Absolutely, completely honest. Absolutely, sweetie. <laughs> have been tracing it ever since, but Wamrao is vast, mysterious, and holds many secrets. Modern radar telemetry shows great promise. We will confirm this one by the end of the decade, latest. This one I liked. Not only does it have eight eyes and is a living fossil and the largest bird ever to live, <laughs> it also does mind control. He's <laughs> <laughs> sincere. He likes the audacity of it. You're right. It, it's one, it's one more right. thing. If it was one less thing, it would be silly. It's but... true. <laughs> it, it checks too many boxes. Yeah, yeah. He likes the audacity of it. I think that's yeah. such a good thing about, like, that sums Kim up so much. Yeah. He's yes. like, you know what? More power Just to like, you. I love that's it. That's so dumb. It's so dumb. <laughs> I love it. Fine. That's so Kim. Yeah. <sighs> So uh, that was the last so one saw. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yep, that's me. Of course. Sadly, <laughs> yes. But there are numerous reports of eight eyed bird skulls from Il Mara. And then there's the striking resemblance to the Periconassian Imperial Eagle, an ancient heraldic symbol that is hard to pass off as coincidence. The Imperial Eagle, too, had eight eyes. Very, very hard. This one's very famous. Everyone knows it. People be looking at that tie on you and thinking, that man is into cryptids. <laughs> so, <gasps> yes! <laughs> Good. <laughs> yes, we're going to wear it with it. pride. It's like a tie with Mothman on it. I just love that. <laughs> yeah, so um, okay, true. so we, we're left with a pickle. We promised Kim that we'd only ask about one cryptid. <laughs> but I want to ask, ask about, about more. more. Yeah. One All more, right. one more. The most Which... dangerous cryptid. The gnome of Jeroma. Oh, boy. <laughs> the gnome of Jeroma? That doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gnome that doesn't of sound too bad. It is. None of his victims survived. Grieving relatives never even found their bodies because the gnome's venom dissolved organic tissue. Oh, shit. What, what does this the cryptid hell? look like? It was reportedly a small creature with webbed fingers and a protruding forehead and a gangly little thing. Quite scary to look at. A couple of campers found it when it was already dying. They heard an odd wailing in the woods and followed the sound. They were scared and wrapped it in tarpaulin to suffocate it. Oh, whoa. It still whoa. took the gnome of Jeroma an entire day to die. Oh, shit. Whoa. If the body of the creature was found, why aren't there detailed illustrations of it in science textbooks confirming the existence of this very little species? Alas, the first scientist who got his hands on the creature's corpse put it in a jar of formaldehyde thinking that would detoxify the gnome's venom. Instead, all the venom leaked out of the creature's teeth and into the surrounding liquid, dissolving the creature itself. Convenient. Poetic, Just so perhaps, preposterous. Like... A loss for science. She says mostly to herself. Alas, <sighs> always, alas, and then it was gone. Isn't that overly convenient? Yeah, yes. I mean, it's one of those weird things, though. If any of these ever got proven real, then they wouldn't be cryptids anymore, and therefore they wouldn't be studied by cryptozoologists, right? 
Any cryptid that's found is just a critter. It's just an yes, animal. But it would still be it would still be big news, and especially if they're carrying the kind of powers that they're alluding to. Yeah. You know? Totally. Yeah, I more just true. mean we don't know what a a zoo in this world looks like. I true. guess is mostly true. what I mean. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Um, like how how fantastical are the animals in this world? Exactly. Like is this is the I mean this obviously this isn't standard because she's like, "Oh my god, it dissolves bodies." But like, we don't know. They could be more There could be three-eyed bears here. Yeah, exactly. Know. Exactly. Yeah, it could be it could be like Fallout where there's mutant animal creature things. So but probably not true. because we, we haven't found, seen any evidence. We've we've seen taxidermied birds. And true. They seem we've seen normal. real birds flying around. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, so far, it, to be clear, the evidence doesn't seem to support that leaning because the animals we've seen we've seen a polar bear. True. It's just a bear. So. Oh, we did. Yeah. Yeah. So the, this world's animals are probably just like ours, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. Look, it's a theory. It's a place. Yeah. Like, it's still, you know, it's still a fictional world, so it could be. Uh, seems very convenient that it disappeared and nothing like it was seen again. No, it was a perfectly good explanation. Stop being so skeptical. Um, One. I, yeah, I think we should bring that up. Yeah. You know? But that's mm -hmm. what happens with things that are rare and stand out. Their disappearance is most memorable, and they are least likely to be found again. Yeah. The bear was the freezer. Yeah, the, the bear was the freezer. Yeah. And it was a taxidermy, taxidermy bear. bear. It was an actual Yeah, it was. That With also, a freezer in a its way. chest. Go ahead. Um, I think that's a really good way of saying it, of just like that, you know, yeah, the story's only convenient because it was special in the first place. So if it disappears... Yeah. It's not like we're going to find another one mm -hmm. and then it's gone and we all talk about how it's gone now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't no, know. I just totally. think that's kind of a a fascinating way of viewing the convenience. Look, mm -hmm. what I like about Lena is she's she's very like understanding and like um thoughtful about all of this. Uh, even mm -hmm. even when it's this is us telling her that we've forgotten our memory and she's trying to explain the nature of the world to us. Mm -hmm. Like she's very just even keeled, even when it's yeah. us, you know, being skeptical about something she cares about. Like I imagine if you're a cryptozoologist, you deal with skepticism a lot. Right, exactly. Um, yeah. Was Do we want I would ask... imagine. Yeah. yeah. Any more? The biggest cryptid? Wanna ask about the green ape? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hey. You promised you'd only ask about one cryptid. You're right. Uh, I, I got I got caught, right. but Kim, don't you want to hear about another cryptid too? Right. Okay, we can move on for now. <sighs> yeah. It'd be no, dishonorable. I I, yeah. All right. Okay, Kim. Yeah, all right. Okay. All, all right. right. All right. Oh, we right. got two. We got two free ones. <laughs> <laughs> Kim. We can come back after Kim leaves. <laughs> yeah, when Kim leaves, we'll talk to her. That's funny. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny, though. That was, I, I, I was wondering if we were going to get caught. Hey. I feel like the gratitude of a good woman. Now then, what can I do for you? Oh, yeah, your traps yeah. have been... He tries uh, to play it cool. A trap. Remain professorial. But inside, this man is itching for some news on those traps. <laughs> good. Okay. And? One of them was empty. One of them was empty. Completely empty? Uh, the cryptozoologist's eyes grow nothing wide. The yes, there was nothing yep. in the trap. No locusts, no phasmid. No locusts? No phasmid either? That's not ideal, but... The empty trap was one uh, at your campsite. Maybe this factors into it somehow. I definitely left that one stocked. Hmm. Right from the campsite? The old woman's Just fate. means the Insial Indian Phasmid is even more clever than we thought. <laughs> oh, Kim is not here for this. Near and dear to their hearts, it might be Hovi to tread lightly. Yes, the Phantasma Dea picked off the locust and escaped. This is good news, though we'll have to reconsider the design of the traps, make them more secure. Another trip to the reeds. No, you, you can stay behind Gary. Wait, Wait where, where is are he? you? <laughs> where? Where's Gary? Oh, is he down down on the side? No, that's not him. Where are you, Gary? Where's I don't Gary? care. He's just off screen. 
<laughs> Has he uh, listened to all of this? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's exactly no. what it is. What a deft hunter, this phasmid. I don't know. I'm not persuaded. Are you sure you're, you've exhausted all of the alternative explanations? I guess number three, but... <sighs> We it warned we us to, to tread lightly. I don't, I don't know oh, between these two. It which, said to tread lightly. Yeah, up here, you're dealing with a subject near and dear to their hearts. It might behoove you to tread lightly. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. Mm. Mm. Are you uh, sure you've exhausted all the explanations? I, yeah, that's this what I said. Sounds fine to me. I'm just worried because it's at the bottom. If that means it's like the most negative, it, but I, it feels like the most neutral yeah. option. Yeah, I don't know. Like, of course, we you have. have to understand it's unbelievable. He you know? he didn't like that. Wait. Oh dang. Oh. Real. He but may Lena have did. a point. Okay. We have an obligation to rule out other hypotheses. You're right, dear. It's a fair point. But what other explanation could there be? He turns to you. Pardon me. Okay. This is a big deal for us. You've helped us it's twice true. now. And brought some right. great news too. My gratitude and the gratitude of the Societe Cryptozoologique de Ravishon <laughs> is yours. Oh my gosh. Heartfelt <laughs> gratitude. But does it feel like closure? What really happened? Thank I you. Have no it's idea. Anna. Fascinating. We should yeah. probably return to our main investigation here. This has been refreshing, but helping cryptozoologists isn't really a priority hey. for our organization, is it? Hey. The lieutenant looks out the window, impatient. Is this? If we do this, is this going to bring their whole deal down? Like just no, like I think ruin this is their good. whole shit? I think, if we, yeah, I think this continues the deal. Yeah, which I maybe think... Kim doesn't so we... want, but. So we want to develop an alternative theory about the missing locust that is not the phasmid because that sounds like. Well, I mean, not. Uh, I think it, yes. it seems like somebody was totally. messing with the trap. That's what I think. Yeah, maybe, maybe it was maybe Gary. Kuno. I'm guessing I... Kuno because he's in the in the. Hey, no. <laughs> yeah, he's in the description. Um. Oh, wait. Oh, Kuno's a hooligan. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what that could possibly have to do with it. But <laughs> um, well, I think we yeah, do let's it. do yeah, that. Kim might not like it, but yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Consider the way the empty trap hey. was disturbed, mm -hmm. as though shaken. Most likely, the hands of a young person, hands small enough to fit inside the trap. Too. You should ask the red-headed boy, Kuno. Yeah, I think a little hooligan uh, called Kuno may have stolen the locust. A little hooligan? Uh, but what would a child want with bags? Oh, my dear Morel. You've been an old man for too long. Kids love to torment insects almost as much as they love to torment old folks. <laughs> I'll talk to the little gremlin and see if anything comes up. <laughs> my favorite. Doesn't sound like it's really his favorite. <laughs> oh, Kim. Sorry, oh, Kim. You've been such a dear to us. Please let us know whatever you turn up. I have a feeling we're getting so close. Well, I see you've got all the help you need. <laughs> I'll see you tonight at my place. Let's play suzerainty, but no more field trips for me. After this is your last <laughs> chance to talk to Gary. Really, Gary? Our last chance, okay. We're getting somewhere here. I I'd love to play suzerainty, but... Lena, I'm sorry, but you're not getting anywhere it was some kids i know the little mutants around here leave anything out in the open and they'll steal it even if it's bugs he looks at his teeth morale it's been fun really but i need a bath and i have deliveries to handle when this tea is done i gotta run no <laughs> no need to apologize geary you'd be more than here geary we'll have to take a rain check on that game of sue's rain tea today though we're going to follow this through. He keeps the language unemotional, but it's in there. Disappointment. Oh, uh, uh, did you know Gary was hiding the armor? Oh, hmm. no, you don't want to say that. I don't no, don't say that. No, I don't think it helps. Is there anything we need to say to Gary before he goes and gets got by no, Everard? Talk to him real quick, I guess. Yeah, because before he gets got by Everard. That's about to happen. I'm going to be real. I mean, Ugh. officers. 
Do you know anything about the man hanged behind the rolling rags? That's one we haven't asked. I told you everything. I just took the queerest, that's all. I promise. Tis true, sire. This man simply Why? did not know what he was getting caught up in. Is there a reason we're okay. not asking three? Oh, we want to ask him he, why I he's racist? He's be racist. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of do because he said that and immediately tried to play the apology game, and I feel like there's like a, okay, well, so what are like, who are you? What are your fundamentals, man? I, I mean, it's just we know he's. I like, just think if this is the last yeah, chance we I'll get to talk it. to him, we the, should ask. Sure. Him. For what All it's right. worth, I think this is the number four is the, yeah. the thing they're trying to give us a chance to jump in. Uh, on, um, yeah, because I, see, I think I we have the we have the ability to basically tell him don't go home. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, do we want to do that, or do we want him to get got by Everard? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. That's yeah, yeah, that's the question. That's what I I was going to get into it before, and then we just didn't. Um, <sighs> sure, did. yeah. His eyes narrow slightly. He's wondering where this is going. Um, I I just don't know what the result of this is. This is this is what they're trying to do. Yes, yes, I understand. They um, literally said this is your last chance to talk to Gary. Period. So he will <laughs> probably die. Yeah. So if we want to tell him that Mister Claire's angry with him and he should lay low somewhere, that's probably I, we should probably I do think, that. It, it's yeah. it's gonna get I back think to it's the right wrong. thing to do. Yeah. It's going to get back to Everett, isn't it? And then it's going to get back to us? Probably, but we have another thing to deal with with Everett right now. And also, That's we true. never promised Everett that we wouldn't. He to he made a whole big deal about how all we had to do was unlock the door. True, 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 true. So it didn't matter what else. So he angry Just about this. Yeah. Yeah, good point. I mean, he can, but it's an easy one to turn back on him. Yeah, yeah. all he said was open the door. Um, three. Everett? The color drains from his face. Yes, he insisted that I open the door for your apartment. So Ooh. you work for Everard Claire? He realizes what's Officer, going on and changes his tell him we're good. No, no, tell him I'll make it up to him. What Ooh. have I done? He'll send the muscle after me. The man looks around, whispering. He <laughs> does sound like it's Squidward. Just, it's Squidward. It's, like, yeah. it's so funny because this is like he's he's panicking, but he does sound like a not very emotional Squidward. <laughs> Make sure nobody hears you talk. As he lowers his tone, he hunches his back. Really? I don't know what it was about. I just opened the door. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but he doesn't like you. Try not to shit yourself, Gary. It was just an open door. Our discussion is on uh, on this topic is over, Gary. Um, uh, yeah, I, guess I don't know what it one was, or but two. he doesn't like you. Yeah, I guess that one. Yeah, yeah. I was probably talking too loud in the whirling the other night. About Almost some definitely. Theories. Yeah. Stupid. Shouldn't have run my mouth loud like that. I won't <laughs> do it again. If there's anything I can do to assist you, or the union, just ask, okay? I'll try to help if I can. This scared him proper. He's positively melting from fear. Has to prop himself up with <laughs> a lot voice of acting anger does not to sound keep like it together. That. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> has turned, he cannot be unturned. I'm melting with Clearly fear. <laughs> he may even have changed his mind about the whole door opening operation. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it was good. I liked it. It was very good. It was very good. Thank you. Also, yeah, notably, Kim liked this. Yeah. I. Uh, that is that is interesting. But also, he, he's a piece of shit to Kim. So, yeah, I don't know. Fascinating. No, I agree with that. But Kim liked it so much, he now doesn't seem to mind that we opened the door. Um, all wow. right, Kim. I, I mean, right. I'll ask this short if you wanted. I, I just figured that's what they were trying to give me a chance to do. I think you're right, but I do want you to ask it really quick. I'm sorry yeah. for what I said. Okay. Mm -hmm. Short means sincere in these okay. things. Okay. Done. Sure. Fine. Okay. All right. Okay, now the question is, do I need to talk to Everard and be like, call off your dogs, please don't kill this man? Like, potentially, yeah. Jeez. And also, um, I, do I care enough to walk all the way to Everard? Yeah. <laughs> you can, can you fast travel there now? Or no, no, I don't think so. Oh, okay. You can see through them. It's like that bread in the... Um, did you guys remember that that Mickey, Donald, and Goofy cartoon yes. where they're super poor? It's like James and the Beanstalk or something, and they have to cut a bean. 
Yes, so they're slicing the bread, it. and it's like it's like transparent. You can see through it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah, know why that made me think a, of it. What a fascinatingly specific memory. No, it's like I know a very exactly visceral what you're cartoon. About. I don't know how to tell describe it otherwise. <laughs> it's it was like a meme for a while too. So, oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Kafega, I love that. Kim's like, I don't like breaking the rules unless it's one funny, two satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> That's <is> very true. <laughs> well, what are we up to now? I was just gonna. Oh, ask we gotta Kuno talk to Kuno, some right? And if hypothetically he has a phasmid in his pocket, I, if he no. okay? fucking, you wouldn't know anything about some missing locusts, would you? No, he's got Kuno doesn't give a fuck about books. So he knows locusts are bugs. Oh my cool. god, I told you that shit is lame! Shut up, C. Now they're gonna take you to lame prison! She sounds like she's about to cry, out of disappointment at Kuno's newfound lameness. What's what this a weird about? girl. Yeah, this whole, their dynamic, I don't know. Gosh, <laughs> now hold on, yeah, no, no one is lame here, just tell me what happened. I like number two, yeah. Alternatively, we could be like, you kids are in trouble for being too mm -hmm. lame. <laughs> you <laughs> you gotta steal something lame. cooler or else we're gonna get annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I no wish one... that was a precedent we could set to everyone we talk to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Listen, you guys are really lame. We gotta solve this now. You want me to just say what's this about, or, or I, I like number two. Yeah, let's do two. Yeah. Deny everything, Kuno. You need to lawyer up. <laughs> Kuno's not gonna say anything without his lawyer present. There's oh, definitely great. something going on here. Remember his it... pig's head shack. You should check it out. Okay. Kuno found your shack. We can point to the shack. Into a shack. It's a fucking yeah. there. What was it with a pig head? Oh, yeah. that. Kuno decapitates pigs. That's just a Kuno demo tape. Oh, Fascinating. Oh. Cool pig okay. head. I liked it. I got one too. This one, <laughs> point at your head. It's shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Will Kuno laugh That's at that? Pretty pretty I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty funny, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to say that. What? <laughs> oh, damn. <Sorry. laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the wrong person overheard us. What is this shit? Fucking <sighs> on yourself. This is weird level shit. Kuno doesn't go there. <laughs> okay, we, right, we I didn't know we made we it weird. We literally Kuno. spooked Kuno. Oh, she's back to normal. What is this? <laughs> we spooked Kim and Kuno. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right, we'll get What's back the on the rails. Magnusolum, <laughs> Kuno. <laughs> Throw him off his rhythm. Me? Don't you know anything? He no. looks at you like you just pointed at the sun and asked what it was. <laughs> it's magnesium. It's magnesium, right? Yeah, sure. It's the mag. You fucking need that shit to stay on top of your game. Kuno goes through like a tube a day, rips mag like a motherfucker, and you could use a bottle. Oh, don't teach him, Kuno. He's going to use it against you, Kuno. I know, I know all about magnesium. I write it all the time. Come on, it's just magnesium. Don't mag mystify it. I like number two. <laughs> yeah, You're not two. getting this pig. It completely takes away the hangover. It's like you didn't do anything. Like you stayed home playing with your choo-choo. <laughs> oh my God. Playing with your choo-choo. Okay. He looks at you, eyes bulging. Fuck you, pig. Don't do mag. You're going to OD and you're going to fucking die. Okay. What's oh happening right now? Just, did you find a cryptid? Kuno Shazam. Kuno rides the fucking lightning in there, pig. Bet you'd like to ride the lightning too. We no. just wanted to find the locusts. I've heard enough of this. I'm going to go. Is Kuno doing speed? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Magnesium. No. That's what you're lacking. The lack of magnesium has you slouched. So there's a lack of magnesium in me? Yeah, that one. Yes. I don't know. And it's critical. Look at yourself. You're practically devolving into a fish due to the lack of magnesium in your bloodstream. Oh my so god. I need to mag it sideways. Mag it sideways? What are you talking about? <laughs> I love you music. Need to mag it up. <laughs> You've probably had two heart attacks and a minor stroke already. And the only prescription is insane amounts of magnesium. I no, we've conf 
I don't uh, think do we so. need to become a magnesium based life form because we, we been... can we can get that thought if we want it but we don't have to internalize it true like you can yes. do that yeah if you want to live you need to evolve you need to transcend the carbon barrier go to the apothecary and buy insane amounts of magnesium it will reverse the damage to your circulatory system Okay, that sounds great. I'm going to see Wait. if there's a stick bug in the shack. I was going to say, go again. <laughs> okay. That's going to try to help us remember. Maybe. Oh, me, me. That it's like, like it's we are in the midst of one horribly bad hangover right now. So like that is... So we is... need to jumpstart our system? Yeah. yeah. I think possible. that's what it means. That's a good point. Yeah. I know we could also be doing drugs, so I, I bet it'll also help with that, but I feel like the quest is sending you there because it could help with memory stuff. That's possible. That is possible. It's crawling I like locusts that in here. <gasps> we found them. The hisses and chirps of locusts fill the musky air. The earthen floor of the shack has been shaped into mounds of mud dotted with little holes for windows. Well, detective, it appears you've solved the case. Lieutenant looks around, writes something in his notebook, and turns to you. Of the locusts. For the missing locust case, which is a subcase of the imaginary insect case. <laughs> so at least that's going well. <laughs> that's, yes, that's precisely what I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> so, I don't want to call him out. I don't know. <sighs> I want us to be friends enough with Kim where we can be like, shut up, you asshole. And he'd be like yes and smile yeah, right. but i don't that's know if true. we have that relationship with kim oh, we're not really there don't. yet and no, when he finds we're out that. we're opening up a drug ring he's probably going to even more be <laughs> you know, you're right okay. yeah true yes. true i feel we are nearing a real breakthrough you think the insulin dune phasmid is nearby <sighs> we should talk to kuna about this get him to stop Wah. or you, you could ask him that the presence of the locust points to the opposite. The phasmid did not take the bait from the traps. It was Kuno. The phasmid doesn't exist. But what do I, I know, I Kim. Use your powers of deduction. You knew the magic bug was nowhere near here. The phasmid is impairing your judgment. You're right. I shouldn't have said anything logic. I'll let you handle the Kuno side of things. You are doing just fine. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. Kim. I really hope this isn't putting a strain on our relationship with so Kim. Too, I hope so, too, because this is nothing. <laughs> he clearly seems so, like, not down with this, like, at all. He's not super into it, but I feel like we're respecting him enough. Like, he wouldn't have liked it had we, you know, kept asking and stuff like that. But I don't know. He's letting us go down the path. True. That's true. true. Hi. But he keeps being like, let's, can we please go back to work? Well, this is the only yeah. one where I feel like he's been like that, really. Well, it's, like, I, it also is funny because it's so deep into it, which is his point. Like, Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, if we had picked this up at the beginning of the game, this would have happened over the course of like five days. Like, I yeah. can just imagine how annoyed he would be at this point. True. Yeah. I know you uh, took the locust from the traps of the cryptozoologist set. Yeah, mm -hmm. Kuro took the books, so what? So it wasn't the phasmid. A wave of disappointment washes over you. I was really hoping it would be a reed phasmid that ate the locust, not you, Kuno. If you say you don't give a fuck about the bugs, then you do and build a whole bug town. <laughs> I like that line. Uh, then you go it's and build a whole bug, bug town. town. That's really it's funny. city of locusts. <laughs> locusts aren't just bug shit. They come out of the sky like a fucking shadow. Shit descends. Stop! <laughs> she wails from behind the fence and buries her face in her hands. You stop! It's like they're fucking night. Local city. Night city. City of rage. The girl forces herself to watch again. The corners of her eyes twitching from discomfort. City of rage sounds like a cool place. What are you, some kind of artist now? Whatever, kids. I just wanted to ask. <laughs> what are you some kind of artist now i don't know <laughs> these are all funny <laughs> city of rain rage sounds like a cool place it does i, know, I both would of want those. to go to that city oh, kuno the pig wants to help you oh that's how lame it is please just don't say you're that's what i was i was like i feel like yeah. that's gonna blow back the other way <laughs> oh and that oh. is true maybe i am an artist you hear that everyone 
I'm a fucking artist now. Did he just say I? Kuno usually calls Kuno, Kuno. That is true. Hold on. Did I hear you say I? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's cool to make art. Yeah. Not call him out on his tense change. You want me to? A little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. Kuno made Kuno. Kuno says whatever the fuck he wants. There are no rules here, pig. He steps closer. I fucking say I when I wanna. And Kuno when I wanna. Kuno's free. Kuno's free to fucking die, bitch. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Get tense. All right, that's great, Kuno. It's cool to make art. Yeah. Oh my God, Kuno. He's gonna make you totally lame in like three seconds. Don't let him, Kuno. Yo, fuck you, see. Kuno can be what Kuno wants to be. Kuno's <gasps> his own man. Kuno's free. He tears at the buttons of his shirt, trying to rip them open. They don't give way. <laughs> oh my god. Are we freeing him from Kuno S? Kuno can make himself into yeah. anything. Kuno can make yeah. himself into a pig if he wants. Kuno can make himself into a f Don't Kuno say it. Doesn't give a shit. Don't, don't say that one. <laughs> don't say it. Pig, Kuno. You'll have to take me away. A leaden silence fills the yard. So that's what this is about. That depends on the choices you make, young girl. Me and Kuno have to discuss this. I promise, uh, I promise I won't do that. Say nothing. Mm, have discussed number this. Two? I promise I won't do that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't believe hmm. you. She disappears entirely behind the fence. For once, the boy is lost for words. He turns completely red now, with splotches of white beginning to appear across his face. I need hmm. you to stop taking locusts from the traps. The cryptozoologists are trying to find something very important. The locusts are bait. I have to ask, what does the city of locusts mean? What's going to happen to the locusts? Yeah, let's ask the city of locusts. It don't oh, okay. mean anything. It's shit. Kuno just likes to focus. Kuno likes to concentrate on shit. Build shit when he's zipping hard. Fuck. He turns his burning face up into the falling snow. Pig, you really shouldn't have fucked with Kuno City. Now it's all fucking lame. Oh. All right, oh. I need you to stop oh. taking locusts. Yeah. <laughs> I don't shit. I don't need the locusts anyway. Shit is all lame now. She was right. The girl's face appears again above the fence, just long enough to make eye contact with Kuno. What's going to happen to the locusts? Yeah. Kuno's going to yeah. let the fucking locusts die. Uh, okay. Okay. All then right. Now that's settled. Goodbye. Okay, you you're to gonna. All right. With the traps. Then saluting in Phasmid. <sighs> he mutters to himself. He recognizes huh. the name. Wait, do you know what the Insulindian Phasmid is? Bitches yeah. think Kuno doesn't know shit. The fuck out of here. Kuno's tired of this shit. As you leave, you notice his usual rooster like swaying posture has changed. Slowed down. Like clockwork mm. unwinding. There's silence between the two children. They're not saying anything to each other nor looking in each other's direction. What? That's fascinating. What the hell? A lot happened what happened there. at the end? Right what the? There? Yeah, what the? that was really interesting. What? That's weird. Okay. Huh. I guess we'll just report back and be like, it was, a, they, it was a child. I'm have sorry. They, well, have they seen something though? Or mm -hmm. there's, or, I mean, something's going on with them. Do you want me to talk what? to Kuno again? I, I... Talk to Kuno again. Can you go back? I'm sorry. I'll he try. might not say he, anything. He seems a little, but yeah. That might not, you might not be able to progress anything, but I'm just curious. Fuck, does Kuno care? Um. Yeah, no. Nah. Okay. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. All we, right, all we, right. <laughs> we damaged something there. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not yeah. sure what it was. Yeah. I don't know. And I don't know if it was a good or bad thing, but we definitely damaged something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. That was a really, that was a wow, fascinating this cryptid has exchange. really took us on a journey. It really <laughs> yeah. has. Between this and the, and the church, I just feel like Crazy. Oh, yeah, around. we almost destroyed the church today. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. All, All right. right. Well, we, we figured out what was going oh, on. Officer. I think I almost have it. A new trap design, that is. I know you're skeptical, but I have a good feeling about this. All right. 
Promise Catch to stop it. stealing the locusts. So he was yeah. just a child. He purses his lips, crestfallen. Thank you for telling us, sweetie. This is good news, right? It means we can try again. She acts chipper. It's true. But something's changed in her tone. A hidden worry. Something mm. is secretly oh, no. roaring at her confidence. It's not this Kuno kid or the missing locusts. It's something else. Yeah, you're right. We just need to restock the empty trap. Then we'll need to inspect the traps one more time. And then maybe we can. <laughs> just a lot of work for a long time. Oh, gosh. He oh, he's sick. he's sick. He has a he's third like... degree fever. His resilience has given way. Darling, oh, I gosh. told you to take it easy. You're getting sick. Maybe it's time to go home. You're right, you're right. We can come back next season when it's warmer. Man, I'm really feeling this is costing me time on my main investigation. No! Um, <sighs> it's not worth risking your health. You should call it a day and go home. I'd offer to help, but I have my own things to do. Damn it, maybe I can still restock the trap for you. And we've come too far to quit. I'm going to restock the trap. Let's do this. Uh, uh, I guess number four? Yeah. Or three, four I, or five? I'm not I, feeling this energy. Maybe I should feel this energy, but I'm feeling this energy. Yeah, let's do four. I agree. Yeah. I do agree. You mm -hmm. can? <laughs> it's better than having these people get pneumonia on the coast. But after this... I know, I'm so sorry, I know, Kim. Kim, I know. To see this tale through as much as you. Otherwise, he'd have stopped this already. But he cannot yeah. let it drag out after this. Really? It's too much, officer. <coughs> what Morel means is we're grateful for your help. He's a fresh mm -hmm. of Whoa, well, right well. down the funnel. Uh, well, that was the worst help. noise. That was we'll unpleasant. Definitely mention you. <laughs> Should this lead to a discovery? I'm not talking co-discovery, of course, but uh... Okay, 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 I'll get going. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was terrible. That, that was not pleasant. Do we want this to be the last thing we do today? Yeah. Let's I go think fill so. this thing. Let's go fill this okay. locust trap. Let's do it. We have made negative progress on towards the murder. <laughs> yeah, but we've made a lot of progress on something that might not exist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know what, Short? You're right. I didn't consider it that way. <laughs> yeah, you know, and I'm I'm proud of us for that. <laughs> Every you know day what else happened? Is... Oh yes, yes. The day ticked by. Yeah, <laughs> That's true. Almost another day down. That's um, well, incorrect. We started at nine a.m. and it's now noon. <laughs> yeah, oh, we, we did three hours, <laughs> both in oh, real gosh. life and in game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, this could be related. Maybe. I we got like some information. We got. Oh, sorry. Near the I did it again. Powder. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. No insect sounds or movement around. Only the reeds apprehensive hissing. We, we got some tangentially related information from uh, Gary the crypto fascist racist yeah. uh, with, the, with the armor and the clothes. So. And that's that. important. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. we now we ruled out somebody else having a key to the the garbage, so that's good. Exactly. Other than other than the garbage people, which we knew. Yeah. Um. Okay. And, oh, uh, release the locusts. Yeah. I guess the locusts, dazed from being transported, slowly begin to acclimate to their new surroundings. They're not really going to get the chance to get comfortable here. Good. Now that's done. When do you think we will return to our impending apocalypse of a murder investigation? Don't answer that. <laughs> It was a rhetorical question. All right, Kim. Okay. You've made it exceedingly clear that you're done with this shit. <laughs> like, he never liked it. <laughs> he never the, believed in us. Yeah. Was that buoy still here? Can we still click on that or no? No, I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> I thought so too. I, I was like, maybe maybe it was all setting up for a cool little payoff right here. Where that would we... be cool. Because nah, Kim is pushing so. so hard against it. I feel like this has to be something. I but really if... think it is something. But if you don't find it, it isn't trust. something is my guess. Yeah. Uh, what I'm really hoping that the something that it is not is that Kim is like, I'm fucking done. <laughs> and then he leaves. <laughs> And this breaks our relationship with our partner I, I here. I don't think so. 
Look, he knows that we're a drunk disaster and he's still stuck with us. Yeah, it is is uh, is a mythical bug really the thing that sends it over the edge? <laughs> <laughs> like I can't imagine. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, you know I what, know. you're right. That, that <laughs> I would like to hope that our relationship with Kim cannot be pushed over the edge by a mythical bug, but you know, I sure hope. Oh my God, it is a bolo tie, isn't it? Whoa, it is. That sure is something. Wait, put it on. I, oh, is I it did. On? It is on. Okay, <laughs> cool. Sorry. <laughs> the screen's a little small for me right now. <laughs> it's also not super flashy, but it's on now. <laughs> yeah. Every time awesome. Kim looks at us, he's going to be like, oh. <laughs> you were wearing our Mothman tie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this has been extremely productive. I, in, <laughs> even though we didn't solve any <laughs> murder mystery, but we solved... No, we didn't solve any mysteries. <laughs> we, we just learned... <laughs> Maybe I, that a bug might exist. <laughs> and I we really almost brought down the, the church. That on that like during our the snack break, we were all like, Wow, we're getting so much done. This is a really full one. And then at the end of this we're sitting here and we're like, What did we do? <laughs> 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 that's so true. <laughs> but I feel like that's the nature of Hello, this dear. game and it all yes. comes together. Good to see a familiar face. I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna real quick wrap this up because I walked in so that we could save here, but I noticed that Morel was gone, so I figured we might as well just check in on what's going on. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Thank you for doing that, dear. She managed to smil uh, smile for you. Her smile is weary. Her earlier ebullience has left her. Morel still isn't feeling well. I convinced him to stay at Gary's to get some rest. I'm afraid the cold has really gotten to him. Only the hardcore players left. Uh, uh, it's probably for the best. It's awful cold out there in the reeds. Probably that one. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, dear. You've had to drudge through them so many times. Such is field work. A young person's game, as they say. Her voice is shaky. What is going on here? So who's yeah. going to check the traps? Morel will eventually. Or we'll talk Gary into going back out, perhaps. The lieutenant stares at his shoe, caked in mud. He doesn't say anything. <sighs> Kim. Ooh. What the hell? This has been a fascinating end of this conversation. <sighs> what? Um... Why do I suddenly feel so uncomfortable? No, I feel, I feel it too. Yeah. Ah, Kim. Something tells me it's up to me again. We'll take care no, of it. Take it on. You don't oh, have to do sorry. that. It wasn't a, enough of this fool's errand. Morel will do it. Or Gary. You have work to do. I, I've wasted enough of everyone's time. That's that's the doubt. The doubt yeah. is that she's wasted her husband's life. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what we're trying to. So that was the right choice, I think. Well, pick. no, I think Maybe. I think we need to do it because otherwise she's gonna be sitting here with doubt that she's wasted her husband. We need to go find the bug. Right. That's. I mean, this was the right yeah. choice to get information. Gary is yeah. not going to help with this. Okay. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Kim. I know, but also I think you might be invested. I, I think there might be a, a quiet part of you that's invested. I think he's in quietly this. invested, so, even too. though mm -hmm. yeah, this is going against what we should be doing. Yeah. That uh, really is too much, sweetie. Thank you for your dedication, but I can see you're coming down with a cough yourself. Very strange. Why is she not letting you do this? It's like she's given up. Lena, what's wrong? Uh, you seem different. Yeah. Different? Yeah. How? The half moons of her glasses reflect you as she looks up at you. You've given up oh, on wow. the phasmid. Or you're not telling me the whole story. You're not telling me the whole story. I feel I like that. I'm yeah. not. It's not bad. She doesn't know how to end the sentence. What is it? Mm -hmm. It's a, a strange feeling. I haven't really told this to anyone, but you are a police officer. Do you ever wonder if some lovely story from your childhood is just that? A story? Or a dream? Hunching her shoulders now. She seems even smaller than she is. Like a oh. sad young girl. 
Seeing the Insulindian phasmid was just a story I used to tell people. I didn't really think about whether it was real or not. But Morel told me you'd seen it. You also told me. Morel's so proud of it. He always tells everyone. A terrible sting in the heart. Regret. Are you saying you mm. made it up? Oh. Yeah, that, I mean, that's what I was thinking, oh, but it yeah. seems more like it's like... Well, she, I she think doesn't know she, if she made it up. Yeah, because even our our brain said it to us when we were like, we commented on the fact that she was young where she was just starting to form memories. Yeah, and then know, on top and, of that, she kept stressing how hot it was that day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also, I didn't point it out, although I, I circled it with my mouse. We were talking about something else, but it described the way the reeds is whistling exactly the way that she described the reeds is whistling um, when we were there before. Um, oh yeah that's true yeah so she's uh, i mean obviously it seems like she's worried that she may have made, made up something up that accident. her husband wasted his life trying to find exactly. yeah 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 and now we're running around for her and she's just like an admittedly uh, is... scary thought yeah yeah it's like it's fun if it's just like a if if, if everyone involved knows it's a snipe hunt it's fun Going on a right. snipe hunt is fun, but not if you really think you're going to find a snipe. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and you've based your whole career. Your, yeah, you're exactly. betting everything on finding it. Yeah. 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 Uh, Including your life. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's up getting in age sick. and getting sick. Yeah. It's he's a like, little sicky boy right now. Yeah. 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 Doesn't that count for something? I, That's I, the clinical I term. do want to say this. You seem to really believe it happened. Doesn't that count for something? Because these two aren't helpful, I don't think. Yeah. I agree. I like that yeah. one, too. Mm -hmm. Also, there's no helping it. Like, it, yeah. it is the way it is right now. Exactly. Sure. No, sweetie. There's more to it than that. Morel was so eager to believe my story was evidence of the Phasmid's existence that I'm some queen of the cryptozoologists. That. And for years, his belief made me believe, too. That I am a queen, an extraordinary witness to grace. But now, we're both getting old, and he's still working himself sick out in those reeds looking for it. But what if God, I that's was hard. just wrong? I think I was... The lieutenant opens his notebook, but doesn't write <laughs> anything. He's hiding. These oh, things are cares. tough on him. Matters of love, not violence yeah. or deceit. Hmm. First, tell her that her marriage hasn't been a lie. We have. To I tell like her. that. Yeah. Oh, it's a red check. We're doing it. Do it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. An acorn is not the same as the tree. Ooh. That requires time, diligence, Ooh. and care. And I need something good here. Wrong or not, your relationship with Morel isn't just about the phasmid. Yeah, I like that. But it is. We've spent years searching for the phasmid, hunting it together. Without it, what are we? Just another a pathetic lovely couple. Old couple. No. If I hadn't led him down this path, he could have a steady job lecturing at a university. Hmm. What does this but say? This has been so fun. Normally, You've when had I think, fun. Yeah. No, but that's the thing. Is it's like, did it bring you joy? It seemed yeah. like it even yeah. today. Yeah. yeah. Normally, when I think about stuff like women and marriage, I feel bad. When I think about you and Morel, I feel okay. That counts for something, no? That's Aww. a. That's. Kurt. <laughs> oh, Kurt. Oh, Kurt. Coming from go. most people, that wouldn't be as touching as it is. But Kurt, you know, I really feel it. <laughs> he he tries. Sweet, sweet Kurt Disco. <laughs> of course, it counts for something. But we've had our hard times too. Um, sorry. Mm. Uh, she looks down at her legs. I was a paraplegic before we met. He didn't know before I arrived on our first date. If I weren't the queen of the cryptozoologists, if I didn't tell him that story. She has to swallow to relax her throat. Oh, gosh. It's keeping no. her from talking. He'd still be into <sighs> you. That's not how these things work. Now yeah. I understand why you haven't told him about your doubts. Wow, love is hard. Say nothing. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, one or two, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I would do two. 
Hmm. We don't know this. It's a yeah, nice. We don't... It's a nice thing to say. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. It's probably. But I don't. Yeah. I don't know if it's entirely helpful. I don't know, but eh. this one is just saying like I understand. Yeah, I empathize. Yeah, you want yeah. to empathize? That and say it. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. I I've wasted enough of your time with this drama. No. I really must stop talking about it, lest I start crying and waste more of your time. Oh, Lena. No. What you have to know is, the Insul Indian Fast probably does not exist. Let us fools I bet it chase does. our ghosts. Yeah. There are a million better things to do with your life. Oh, I really I want to find you this bug, Lena. <laughs> I really I want to find you this stick bug. bug, Lena. I want to find this bug for you. <laughs> <laughs> To hell uh, with it. I still believe uh, you saw the phasmid. Thing is, you're not sure you made it up either. I like that line a I lot. I like actually. that. Yeah. Okay, it's a false memory. It doesn't mean all cryptids are, aren't real. Chase another one. And you're right about all of it. I need to get back to my work. <laughs> I like I this like one. I like too. I do too. I agree. Yeah. I'm not sure of anything. Sometimes I still see it, you know. The real memory. Not the memory of the memory, but... It's so hard to tell the two apart. Rising, unfolding from the reeds on a hot summer's day, yep, like a benevolent know. god. Either way, I should go. Poor Morel is running a fever, and I need to get him home to Jamrock before we overstay our welcome with Gary. You sure mm. you don't need help getting to Gary's? You do that, I'll check the traps one more time. Fair. I kind of like really? that one. Yeah. yeah, really, Kim. Come on, Kim. <laughs> All right, at this point. Please don't get stuck on a dream. Take it from me and Morel. No one can stop you from finding the phasmid. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Volition. Can I have your address just in case there's news? Yeah, sure. Okay. It's 1113 Tabernacle Road. Jamrock, but... A sigh. She doesn't think you'll need it. Do we want to mm. offer her help getting to Gary's, or do we want to... Um, yeah, offer her help if yeah, she sure. needs it. Oh, yeah. no, thank you, but I can get there on my own. This old thing is gas-powered. Mm -hmm. And then a taxi home. It's not so bad. All right, be careful out there, mm. Lena. It's been a pleasure, ma'am. It has. I mean, it's been yeah. some riveting yeah. conversation, too. Definitely. Why, sweetie. Thank you for everything. Truly. Aw. Even though it turned out to be a... The sentence remains Aww. unfinished. A waste of time. A dream. We're gonna find like this that, bug. she drives off. The guest enters quietly as she gets to the doors, then pushes them open. Outside, it's snowing. We should go to... Wow. Wow, that was okay. I'm really glad we did that before we ended the episode. Yeah, I know, me too. That, that was a lot. Yeah, God, that was. She's not only so well written, but also I love her voice actor. Just the way every line was delivered is just so really good. special. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, like what a what an amazing character to get to know. Mm -hmm. Um, and just uh, what a fascinating situation. And ah, uh, that was just so good. That was really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guess we'll check those. Tra we don't have to check the traps right now. No, but I, I just we'll check. Out, I figured we'll check while, we were, while we were signing out, I could I could run over there, but I don't need to. Um, well, also you can get close so that we'll remember what the hell we was, need to do that next was time. The real thing. Yeah. Uh, Good I was afraid idea. that I would forget because I don't trust myself. <laughs> <laughs> because another three weeks will go by before you know. never no. know. <laughs> I'm moving, so maybe. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> Probably. Like we'll we'll try to avoid that uh, do you want me to just click on the trap i'm right here uh, yeah, yeah whatever let's just click on the trap yeah let's see well, look it, it's only been a half the hour the, trap. the rest are piled in a heap in the corner dead no phasmid anywhere poor things hmm okay well Interesting. well well, maybe we'll check after a day or something yeah i just yeah. think we should keep remembering to like just check around and look. yeah I agree. Um, and I also just wanted, to your point, to, to be over here. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, you know, you know. Um, we'll find yeah. it eventually. I believe in us. I do. Wow, this was great. 
This was a nice one to come back to. It this really was. Buoy. I know, I'm sorry. I just... <laughs> I, I believe. I want to believe. It was freaky. It was weird. Um, <laughs> I agree. Anyway, <sighs> this has been a delight. That was actually really, like, even to the point we are right now, if that is the end, that was a lovely story. Um, and, and Oh, yeah. I, I'm glad we got a good ending together on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, I... I I feel like the Phasmin might still be out there. I want to keep looking for it. Um, I, that would be absolutely fucking wild. And But I'm also okay if it doesn't exist. Because yeah. that e makes for an equally interesting story for Morel and and Lena. So. I'm, I'm, I'm teetering between them. On one hand, I desperately want to find Ooh. this bug for them. On the other hand, I wonder if finding the bug for them kind of misses the point. Um, I don't know, mm -hmm. but right now it's just sad. So I would like to get them, yeah. <laughs> get them this bug if yes. we can. Um, but yeah, no, this was this was a real treat. As was almost bringing down the the church. Um, it's been yeah, wonderful. can't forget about that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you all so much for rejoining us for dis for uh, disco. It's been so much fun, and it's great playing with you, you two again, oh, Gina it's great and Jake. Back. I know, I yeah. missed y'all. This has uh, been very, very nice. Missed this very much, and I love this game. It's so good. Yeah, enjoying it thoroughly. Mm -hmm. All mm. right, well, we will see you all next time, and thank you so much for joining us, folks. Much, much Bye. love, guys.